Welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk. My name is Asagi Alunga. My name is Ayomide Tayo. And then everyone already knows the one and only the lead researcher. Welcome. So this guy is actually taking this lead researcher thing like seriously. You actually introduce yourself as lead researcher. Like you take it seriously. It's like a thing, right? I am what I am. Who <laughs> says I am? <laughs> you know, Nigerians take titles very seriously. So I'm not surprised that Steve <laughs> Diddy is taking this one seriously. Like how the yeah. people carry ducked on their head. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it is. Actually. Know. Nigerians, Nigerians take things like that very seriously. Titles. Do you Positions, know who I am? Not yeah. even titles. Positions. Do you know who I am? Yeah, yeah I ain't nobody. <laughs> yeah, I ain't nobody, sir. Shut up and go and sit down. Yeah, ain't nobody. You ain't nobody. Calculate everything you have in the bank and divide it by 1,200. <laughs> I remember one time, for scarcity, people were fighting in queues. So a man was saying, do you know who I am? One guy looked at him and said, oh, guy, you are not anybody. You are not, you're nobody. If you are somebody, you won't be here looking for cheap for The Facts. guy didn't talk again for the next, for the last, for the next two hours that we were on queue. <laughs> he was castrated. The guy, buddy, calm down. <laughs> Baby, calm down. You came, you came to a queue for two hours for cheap for You're still asking somebody, do you, do you know who I am? You ain't nobody, apparently. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised that... Uh... Nobody has done a movie. You know how they do those um, scenario movies? Like every 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 scene is at one. Like the whole movie is at one scene. All right. I'm yeah. surprised that they've not done that for a petrol. You know, like a filling station scene. Shout out to Nollywood. I'm Mary May Five. Because Come it's if... please don't talk about. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Don't talk about Mary Men here on this podcast. Don't okay. don't don't do that. Mary <laughs> Men. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Oh you should on me. Blood in my eyes, homie. I can see. I'm, I'm I sorry, I want, I want to say something. I want to say I saw again, no vex. Let me just I want to say something about Mary Men. AY yeah. is so good there that he's going to do Mary Men for. Uh, like he doesn't give I'm it. Five. Fuck. I'm five and six. <laughs> he will tell you that if you tell you if Fast and Furious can reach 10, then why is it not oh, me? Why can't Mary Men reach 10? Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you playing? Don't play. Oh, do you know do you know what happened when the uh, to the guys who went to watch Mary Men in the studio in the in the in the cinema? Do you know what they said when they came out? Whoa. No. Mary Men, blood <laughs> in my house, oh my god, can see. I wake, I wake, I wake. <sighs> Blood Big cinema. In my eyes, oh, Big yeah, cinema. See. oh my goodness. Did you see that video of the lady who um took delivery of a child, a very big baby, and like all the blood vessels in her eyes popped. So her whole her eyes were the eyes were red. No, I did not see it. I don't like seeing videos like that. Don't shut up about childbirth. I, I can't stand it. What is it? It's crazy. So, Ayo, when you do even, if, 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 don't let me say when, if you mm. do, you know, um, knock somebody up and uh, the fantastic person who's going to be giving birth to your fantastic first child. Yes. Are you going to be in the, you know, in the, in the room? I'll in be the there in the room, room as a patient because I can't stand it. Bro, I mean, I'll think. <laughs> okay, you, no you, you too. I'll, you be, I'll be a patient. I'll be a patient. I'll be a patient. I'll be too. <laughs> we'll come, the child and I will come together into the world at the same time. I cannot. Sorry. Shout out to all you brave men out there, you wonderful men. I say, bro, I've gone. Anytime a woman is, anytime a woman is pregnant and she safely delivers, like either whatever means, right? Like I always, yeah. I see it as a miracle. Is it, boy? Is a miracle. Is a miracle. Hey. Ah. It's mm. not easy. I can't believe. Let me tell all. you. I beg. I beg. Let me tell you. Pushing a baby Bro. out of your body. We've not even talked about carrying the baby for nine people months. People carrying it. Those carrying people alone. Bro, it's, Jesus it's Christ, Christ. Christ. That's just, that's, uh, they're not normal. Women are not normal. God. When I tell people that women are stronger than men. Easily. 
Ain't no way a man's carrying a baby for nine months. Ain't no way a man's carrying a baby for nine months. It's not happening. The change so your body goes through as a woman Bro. carrying a baby. The change, the physical change, internal and yeah, external. Yeah, we right? Fear them. Fear them. That change it, that your body goes yeah. through, that you didn't have to push that baby out. Bro, what are the experience though? Nah, you know, then, then you understand why they are always connected to their children. Yes. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's beyond the physical. It's very biological. It's an amazing experience, you know, and that's something that men will never get to experience at all. When they say, "Oh, um, well," I don't think you are, well, in, you are in tune with modern. I don't think you are in tune with modern culture. You have to update yourself to well. This is 2023. Well. Men can give birth. Mm-hmm. I apologize. Yes, thank you. For yes, the sake, we are yeah. not we are not very modern people. For the sake of our, because tomorrow now Sagi will come. Sagi will say, "Gentlemen." I was listening mm-hmm. to the podcast this one. That's why this thing is stuck in my head. Do you guys know that we have LGBTQ listeners? Yes. And we need to be very, very particular about what we say <laughs> concerning them. So, yes. I beg. So, yeah. So, men can give birth in 2023. Yes. I don't want to order this conversation. Let's move okay. on. Okay. <laughs> move on. I, I can permission to move on. Please do. Granted. Good. From Lady Sasha. All right. Thank you. How are you guys doing? We do. My oh, brother, life no. is not treating me fair. I don't go lie you. I did my appraisal okay. today, my Q3 appraisal today. Five hard. How was it? My oh, brother, if you ask me, <laughs> no easy, no easy, no easy. Uh, but you know I easy. still have a job, you know. Yeah, uh, that's the that's last. positive thing. You know? Alhamdulillah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Mm. Some have some no get job. That oh. that went good. Is that? Ah, uh, I See, some people no get job. I handle that. Oh mo, what I tell you? What you man go do? You know. What you man go do? All right, cool. No wahala. Aye, how about you? I do. We they use one eye. They look for station. They use one eye. They look black market. It's a sleepless time. Hey, why is the Why is the first? Why look for yesterday? So there was like, I think they just, um, people are just scared. Because when I was going to the island yesterday, like seven petrol stations, didn't, they just closed. And I was like, wow. But when I got to the island, I saw there was four. So people are just, you know, using one eye to gauge up. But what else? Not caused Bagad, I was passing yesterday. I just, I saw them open. So I just, I just went to them and bought. That North West has like 80 pumps. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the biggest really filling awesome. station in Lagos. Sorry. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It, it has like, it, they have like close to 20, over 20 pumps. Mm. Okay. Cool. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Station. yeah in, in one station, the one I got. Okay. okay, okay. Station, I, yeah. I thought you were like, 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 like the biggest, like they had the most first stations in Lagos also. Oh, no, not like a f- filling no, station like, line yeah, or okay. franchise. Yeah. No, oh, I'm saying okay. at one at Bagada, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, so. it's, it's split into like two filling stations, but they're like together. Have, you can go yeah. together. I think you have like 30 pumps or something. That's like the biggest filling station I know in Lagos. I don't, I haven't been to any other one that is bigger than that. Shout out to them. And they always have four. I mean, and you know, they don't sell in kegs. You line up on the Bagada road, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so. Um, that's good. That's good. My week was also good. Um, just work and um, I'm I'm tired actually. I think Sorry. I'm I'm not approaching Same burnouts, man. but I'm just tired. But it's not burnouts. Ah oh, man, there was one time I experienced burnouts. That thing is not good though. Have you guys experienced burnouts before? I think that was 2020, 2022. 2022. Okay. I experienced burnout in 2017, 2018, and 2019. But the boss I was working for at that time, like my line head. This guy. Um, <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> 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 <It's extreme enough. laughs> I have forward. I have to... forward. We. Need... I have. I have forward on something where we're talking about like pause, and we're just talking about you. Um, we're just like gossiping about you, we're just like laughing. Yeah, and for us, I said something like, 
the worst thing that could happen to you at post at that time was if you were Sagi's friend. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And I, you know what I said? Oh. It is true. You are right. You are, you are right. Franco. Because we, no, no, no. we suffered. Why is it? <laughs> no, but if you're Osagi's friend, how, how is it a bad thing? Uh, it's a bad thing now because the expectations will be higher. The pressure will be higher from the Osagi really? himself. Yes, no. So if you if you are, are you, why is he saying you? really? <laughs> like he's you never self reflect. You never self reflect. That's right. That's the least self reflection. Okay, that's not just self reflection. Who's supposed to reflect? It's not self reflection. Yes, that's true. No, I think no. Hold on, hold on. Are you saying that in the newsroom? Yeah. First of all, I treated everybody the same. Right. <laughs> I didn't have favorites. If you think I had favorites, I think we're, not, say, we're not saying favorites, favorite, but because we're, we're not saying favorites, we're just saying because we are close to, was to yeah. deliver. So yeah, there was a bigger problem to deliver. Was there was yes. bigger, yes. I, I'm sorry. Oh, and, and and I didn't plan that. I had no oh, idea. And oh. if that affected me, uh-huh. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh Steve, God. Steve, my first day at Pulse, eh? Somebody now came to me. We are going to we are now into the staff boys. Now say, I saw your article today. You can write. Osage was really right about you. You are really, you are a really good writer. I'm like, you know, I'm like, what did Osage go and tell these people now that I'm like, one wallet showing cars or this? I will go. Now salary, make you come here. Now salary, please. Uh, I beg. But I was, just telling, I was just telling the truth. Uh, no, but the way the lady was exclamating, I'm like, ah, no, no, I beg, I beg. I beg. She, she didn't. No, hold on. The lady didn't approach you before. She read the article and said anything. Yeah, yeah. She read the article. She was impressed. Then she approached you. I am just. I'm saying. sure if she read the article, and if the article was shite, she wouldn't have said mentioned anything to you. So I should, she should have had it in her mind that this Osage don't go hype nonsense. She yeah. have had it in, my, in her mind. Or, or this Osage just the bringing in friends. Exactly. Uh, that, yeah. one day, that, one day, that, one that was also part of it too. Making nobody say no lean hypothesis in Amiku also enter. You know, there's <laughs> there's pressure definitely. And not just and not just I and I even for I said it. For I said it not I yeah. get likes you, you're in trouble because yeah, you all you walk, you walk and walk and walk. It's true now. And yeah, you tend to true. like you tend to like like good and Hard efficient workers. people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, if you're yeah. if you're lazy, yeah. I mean, you know, I wasn't your best friend. Exactly. <laughs> You could never afford to be lazy or post because uh, at the end of the day, your work will have to speak for you now. So, your work, no day. Even, yeah. the, people, even the people we described as lazy, they yeah. weren't, they, they, were, they were trying. They weren't they were lazy, trying. but they, they were, yeah, they weren't that lazy. That just we, like the expectation we, was. We don't come from, we, we, we came from the trenches. So, <laughs> anyhow, now what round? <laughs> we did it. <laughs> it was yeah. just like a football club. You get in there, you know, if yeah, you're not true, a high performer, true. You you get pushed down, you know. I give you yeah. a category that is. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you can come in. You can you come in from the bench. <laughs> yeah, you can come on the bench. You know, and I encourage you. Uh, nice, nice, yeah. but you're not a you're not, you're not a sniper. Yep, yep, you yep, you yep, put yep. your best guys in front. Now the snipers, the snipers yeah. go in front. You know, so you you were a sniper. I was a sniper. You know, bad snipers. I get man. you. Man, I get you. Yeah, Samson came in, you know, as a Samson came in through the youth academy. <laughs> and today, uh, he's the editor. Today, nah, he's today's the captain. He's the captain. Today's the captain. He's the captain. Like, like, captain. Like, like shout out to shout out to Samson Toromadi. Like sh- you know why? He came in. You know he's like. You know, if like you're watching a movie, right, or a longer series, and this is like s- maybe seven seasons or something. Yeah. The guy who came in at the rookie is now the last dawn. Yeah, he's not the last dawn. It's it's it's, yeah. a, it's an amazing story, and I wish he could even like, you know, <clears throat> write down that like, you know, detail the story, put it up somewhere. He came yeah, in. Yeah, just journal it somewhere, just document it. Do you understand? I I hope he does that because he came in. Is it is a test? Is a good testament to everybody in the pipeline, from the person who hired him to, to the yeah. people who were involved mm-hmm. in training him okay. to the company itself. Yeah. And to him, yes. like it's a good statement to everybody and testament to everybody. Yeah, yeah. And I wish I he had agree. done it when he like returned to Pulse. But I mean, if he if he if he's marking a milestone at Pulse, I think he should. It should leave you as a storyline. It can be yeah. an interview, or you can you can put it down somewhere. You came in as an intern. 
Yeah. Right. With no and dada. Again, with just again. mama hair. <laughs> it's important. It's important that we, we don't have to from the back quarters yeah, of the back quarters of you know wherever he came from. Yeah. You know, and he came. See, he came from outside Lagos. Yep. Let's keep mm-hmm. it a book for the young man, man. Via Castina. Oh, where did he serve again? Taraba. Taraba, Taraba. Yeah, Taraba. yeah, via Taraba. From Oshun to Taraba, then to Lagos. You know, and came into Lagos. And you see, there's that story of always coming into a, an, a, a region or somewhere and grinding more than the people that grew up there. Yeah. I'm telling you, I, 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 yeah, it happened to me when I left Lagos to another city to go and school. We had yeah. the most ginger. We had the most entrepreneurial spirit. We had the most, yeah. oh, we can do something in this city because we didn't grow up there and we didn't, you know, the, we hadn't gotten used to the city, so to say, like the cultural yeah. norms or whatever. We just looked beyond that and looked at how we can dominate. And I think that's the same thing that happens to people that leave their cities and come to Lagos. You know, they see yeah, beyond everything that is it, 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 the way it is, and they really want to, you know, dominate and make something for themselves. I mean, look at you, look at Samson, same story, man. And they, they, I mean, look at all the guys that came from Joss. Look at the artists who leave their cities and come to Lagos. Yeah. Yeah. Am I the whole chocolate city? You know, the, you know, the chocolate city guys, we're not even Lagos guys, they all grew up in Joss. Yeah. And Abuja. Yeah. At the day, man. At the end of the day, I think uh, you know, there's there's the there's beauty in, there's beauty in growth, but something that's also equally as as good, maybe not equally, but you know, is telling the story so you can inspire other people. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's very important. So, how 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 many people do you guys mentor? Mm. Now, yes, I have like a couple. Not yet, anyway. I won't see any person yet, or oh, I haven't just been actively looking. Sir, let me say I'm not seeing anybody yet. I would say a couple. Um, I or you, you be pushing people away. You know, it's, it's I don't push people away. Nobody has even approached me. Nobody has even it's approached hard me. Approach yet. Ayo than approach me. Do you know? Ayo is very... Ayo is very... Ayo is very approachable for a one-time conversation. But after that conversation, good luck having him see him again. Now, wow. Do you understand? Now, wow. Agenda. 100%. I like, I like the way you've, you've put it. Ayo is great for me one time. Hi. Very, what's very up? good. Very fantastic. You know, and after Jesus that... Christ. Okay, name? please. Oh, please, oh. I'm doing a vacancy for mentorship now, so please apply. All right. What are the what are your prerequisites? Um, there's no prerequisites. You must have a job. You must have a job. You must have a job. Yeah, you must have a job, please. I beg because you. Because my, my guy can't be. My guy won't. No one for Yeah, yeah. Any any gender is uh, uh, welcome. That, you've, uh, you've just any gender is welcome. Fantastic. Yes. But you have just eliminated. A whole pool of people that you will be inspiring to take to the next level by saying yeah, yeah, yeah. you must have the job. You can't do that now. Okay, okay. Let's we'll take that back. Uh you must have a modicum of talent at least. At least just show skills more. But a modicum. Should be a yeah. modicum, just a small smidgen. Smidgen. But what of oh, upcoming rappers that are middle middle aged men that are older than uh, legends? Older, you're older than legend. Uh no 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 no. <laughs> Zenith Bank is hiring. Zenith Bank is hiring. You don't get it. I was like, you don't know that skit. I was like, you don't know that skit. Go and check Lai Wasabi. Lai Wasabi, skit maker of the year. That's one of his classics. Oh, you're never going to make it one and gonna. Yeah. Yeah, what about Legend, though? Ah. Wrap it up, nigga. You look at the guy. You're a middle aged man. You're a middle aged man. Wrap it up, nigga. Uh, wrap it up, nigga. Yeah, man. Okay, so you guys heard it. You guys heard it here. Ayo's um. Ayo's having his first cohorts of intakes. Yeah. For mentorship program. Yeah, looking for mentorship. Mm-hmm. How many people can you get at a time? Like pause two. <laughs> two. <laughs> guys, it's pause. 
Wait, yeah. did you pause? Why did you pause? Yeah, I paused. I paused. You see, how many people can I take? How many people can you take as a time? I take all my time. I say pause. <laughs> then two. You know. Okay. Oh, no problem. So, so where do we, people, what do we really contact you? In LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? Instagram is easier. If, I'm, yeah, Instagram. If, if anybody people, contacts people you through Facebook, Instagram. Who is the person does not want you to mentor him, him or her? No, if you contact you through Facebook, then you are looking for, it's brick layer work you are looking for, honestly. I don't think you are looking for modern work. Oh, good. All right, then. All right, you heard it first. You heard it here. You heard it first. He, hit him up, guys. Hit him up, guys. Yeah. Yeah. My meditator is looking for... Um, the, the problem with my mentoring, my, the problem with my mentoring is that every any advice that you come to seek, it ends up with what are your jackpot plans. So I don't think I'm a good mentor. <laughs> You're not a good one. You're not a good one, actually. Oh God! I don't think that's a bad. That's a bad. You know. Um, no, it's the way you put it. It's like the way you put it. That's the way. No, it's the way because. I guess it's, but here's the thing, right? If you're a young person that doesn't have access to the finances right now yeah. to actually travel abroad, it means yeah. you're living in Nigeria and that might be your future plans, but it might yeah. be long term. And so you still have to do other things. You still have to learn skills. You still have to learn yeah. how to hack life and all that. So that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I it's talk fine. to people yeah, who, that's true. But who it's can't a, it's leave a the country now, but, yeah. you know, have it in their, in their plans to, to leave. But I understand yeah. how. What Steve is saying, Steve will now make it as a life as urgent as possible. <laughs> the so now, I've, now and I know how because I know how, how expensive it can be, and how even if you're not using a lot of money, maybe you're using the work route, how deliberate and time consuming it can be. So, the thing is, see, the thing that the, one thing I know about life eh, and it does help me is having having a long term goal and having a long term to prepare. It helps everything easy. It, like it makes things easy for you. So every year, every month, you're saying, "I'm much. I'm for this goal. This thing I'm, I want to achieve in the next two years. How am I contributing towards that goal now? Towards- those deli- exactly those deliberate plans. It makes things easier. You know, no matter what you are planning, you want to like you know go for a second degree. You want to anything that you are planning. It doesn't make sense if you start rushing it. You have to take your time and meticulously plan towards it. You know, so, she yeah. not talk. <laughs> mentor, you don't yeah. mentor me like yourself. <laughs> I don't forget pen and pen and pen and pad. Wala wala. I tap into the mentoring. <laughs> you know the last thing anybody should do to you right now in this economy. Oh. Nobody should be owing you money. I'm <laughs> um, a bit to, I'm a bit to go bit person. No. I'm a bit to go bit person. I, I had, I had someone that, that was owing me money since, you. yeah, since June, it's July. But the person came through last month. The person came through in in August and September. I was so happy, yeah. you know. Did he did he pay with interest? Not really. I, I lost that on that. I lost that because of the whole dollar thing. But my brother, I still got something. I wasn't even. I used to still hold something for body. Yeah, I still hold something. I thought I thought I went to work, my brother. So. Mm. You know, I wasn't angry, you know, especially because I know why he delayed with the payments. I know what happened to him, got into some like really money issues, you know. You know how it is, it's not easy. So yeah. I took that loss and moved a on. Comp- you know? A company was owing me money and they just yeah. paid ah, last week. And they've been owing me that money since May. You May, know wait, how let me calculate since May. May, June, July. Now agency, Abby. Mm-hmm. Now you get the idea. Now three months. months. They still process them now. Yeah, oh, three four months. You no, know, like that money. Eh, the inflation don't kill that money. And you don't question. I have one. I have one from July now. From July now, November the next month. I expect them. I don't even they shout. The guy will hit me up on the wire. Please, eh, bro, patience. Me, I say me, patience. Now me be patient. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Now you be pepe. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah. So nobody should be earning you money in this account. And please, you people listening as well that like to borrow money and not, and not pay, pay back. back. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's witchcraft. It's, it's witchcraft. It's a terrible character, guys. I can't even sleep in peace if I know I borrowed, borrowed money from somebody. Yeah. It's a terrible character. Then guess what? You have some that would have borrowed money from you. Talking about back bo- to you. 
want to yeah. borrow more. Has that happened? Nah, to no, Sagi? no, no, that Sagi, you know the one annoys me. Sagi, let me tell you the one that annoys me. Let me should I tell you the one that annoys me? And mm-hmm. it happened. I'm in fact this is night. This night I'm going to pick the person at the airport. My cousin is coming back. So I think something happened with his Naira account or something. He couldn't transfer money. So I helped him with some bills, like into some hundreds of thousands, right? And as he's, as he was coming, as he's coming back right now, I know he's going to buy things for, for me. He's going to buy things for like the kids, my family. You know what I'm saying? He will not, he will buy things that, that's like above the money. The thing will come to make me say, ah, make a, and he will not talk about the money. That's a skill. That's a skill. Him. And sometimes, when someone does something like that for you, you go, you will feel some kind, some way say, I will really disturb him for this money when you don't spend this kind of money. I don't say, not send you me, you spend that money. Just pay me my money and move on with your life. I don't, you understand? You also? And I don't buy that strategy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, oh. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Sorry, Ayo. It's been a long yeah. time, you know, since I used to find it awkward, um, um, you know, asking for money that I lent you. Yeah, it's yeah. been a long time ago. Now I look you dead ass in the face. How far my money? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, strong face. No, no, we say, see, if you, I, I still lend money to people who are in dire need of it. Go and ask yeah. people I've lent the money to. Calendar invite immediately. Once you receive yeah, yeah, the yeah, money, yeah, yeah. I'll impress you. you. <laughs> the next thing you're receiving is a calendar invite with the subject. person. Gang, gang subject, person. You know, person to return loan. <laughs> in the description of the something I'm sending you, I put it there, loan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Google, like, say, Google wanting, calendar wanting. Invite. description is there. X, yeah. X person to return loan by so 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 day. <laughs> and I'll now send the reminder of the calendar one week to the day and the day. It's uh, 24 hours to the day. Uh, go and ask people I've learned one. So I don't, yeah. I don't because. Because people are, because I've lent, I lent money to one guy, right? I con- the guy considered me like a big bro, you know. I lent money to him, and the guy didn't pay back. Then came a few months later. I wanted to borrow more money. The F on two. The F on I told him, say you're owing me money, and you want to borrow more. He says yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I get my salary, I'll sort it. I think the guy has like gambling problems. I don't know what it is, but I pray. You know, I also don't know. Yeah. It can be health issues. I don't know. It can be health or family. Yeah, you're not judging. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Don't let me say gambling. I don't want to say that. Mm. No, no. Just you know, say something that isn't true or I don't know it's true or not. And so, he came again some months later and tried to borrow money again. <sighs> like people, the audacity, Sha. I respect yeah. you, but I ain't giving you one penny. Not one penny. I saw one guy on Twitter. I said. Yeah, I said I saw one, I saw one girl. Yeah, I saw one guy on Twitter. I said I borrowed. You know, people were talking about lending and borrowing. One guy now said I borrowed this guy. He talked about the amount of money he borrowed. It was a large sum of money, right? I borrowed this guy money. Blah blah blah. He didn't pay back. Somebody now came and corrected him. Said you don't borrow. You lend. People borrow from you. The guy replied them. I said this one no. This one I borrow. I borrow. <laughs> you know, no. No time for palace, no time for linguistics. I beg, I beg, I beg. Oh, gosh. I beg. No time for oh, semantics. Oh. I borrow the guy. Yeah. Nigerian Twitter. Nigerian tw- Twitter. Twitter is black Twitter and Nigerian Twitter. No, Twitter is everything. There's, 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 there's nothing. There's I nothing love everything. You, uh, Osage, you know the one I saw today? The guy yeah. said, the guy put up a, that meme from the wire. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, wire. the guy put it up and said, now he knows why his dad used to spend um, um, every evening outside saying that they receive breeze. Mm. <laughs> now you because know. Economy, economy now your mate. <laughs> economy now your papi. Ah, I love that. Awesome, Bro, man. Do you know how <laughs> do you know how demoralizing it is for a man not to be able to take care of his kids? I wrote that. That's, that's, go, go for me. Go for that's me, the height of tragedy. That's the, that's the biggest fear I have in my life. Actually. Yeah, man. Like, that's my biggest fear right now in life. You wake up and your kids Bro. are going to school the next day and like, Daddy, we're going to school or do we, you know? Or and our daddy, no, no oh, walking. They reminded us about our school fees again. Ah, uh, our school fees were 90 yeah. pounds. 
do you know how demoralizing as, as a man as Bro. you grow up you know you protect <laughs> a provider and you look your child in the eye and say i do not have anything to give you Bro. Uh-huh. Mad. <laughs> Bro. Go for mm. the Go for the you know. Go for the Go for the button. Hmm. It's not easy. You know easy, you. Hmm. It's not easy. Ah, so, huh? collect that breeze well, well, you. Make that breeze ah, blow. Collect that more. Collect that more. The breeze is free, Abby. It's free. They never start to the charge for breeze in Lagos. They never begin charge up. <laughs> yeah. Care oh, reason why some posts is they they come in late at night. They come in late at night, so everybody's sleeping. Nobody's coming to request for anything. Just ah oh, man, it's not easy, man. It's not. It's not. It's oh. not. All right, man. What's on the docket this week? Oh, let's get into it. That's why. That's why I just forgot to word. What's on the docket? Docket. Docket. All right, we have this what, from Barry Dope. Right. Yeah, starting with fan mail. Worry. First of all, shout out to everybody that sent fan mails. We'll continue to read all your fan mails. Obviously, some people have sent in. We're not reading everything this week. So if we don't read your fan mail this week, we're surely going to read it next week. And so on and so forth like that. This is from Wari Boko, who says, What do you think about Orezi's planned comeback into the industry? Especially considering that he is one of that he is one of the very forgotten artists. What do you think about Orezi coming back? First of all, shout out to Orezi. We always thought he's a very talented young man. Um, Orezi is one of those artists that has continued, I mean, up to, you know, he's been out of the game for a minute. But like, when he started, you know, he was one of those artists who were like, okay, I see your boss, but you'll be out of here in a minute. And he didn't stop. And he continued and continued and continued, you know, to drop records, records, continue to be in that C-list to B-list artist space, you know. And I remember him dropping the Rihanna record, which was like, I think it's, it's probably his biggest record, you know. Yeah, that, the was, that was a big jump. Yeah. Yeah, then he did some other records and everything, you know. And I respect him because he's just like young man who's like, I'm going to do this music thing and I'm going to try and do it very well. You know, I respect that. I respect it a lot. So personally, I wish him the best when he's, even if he makes a comeback. I always love, I love a comeback story, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. Yeah, um, I came across his video, his promo video like two weeks ago. And I was like, wow, where is this back? That's nice. Um. In terms of talent, we've, we all know that already has a bu- bu- um, bucket load of talent. Like he, he can deliver. I would just like to see the consistency because I always felt like, you know, he does something, then he dips out. He does something, then he dips. I like for this consistency to at least, you know, go on for at least, at least another two years or three years. But I'm happy that he's back, man. He's one of those true. This is a guy that started probably after Wandeko, 08, 09, and he's still here. So that shows he has something. So it's just the consistency for him. I don't think that music has left him or the game has moved beyond him. I think he still has it. Well, let's wait and see, Sha. Let's wait and see. Um, Steve, are you have you been a fan of Orezi? I don't understand. Um, two Afro- Afrobeat connoisseurs, like you know, media greats, Osagi and Longe. I am the time. Yeah, I'm I'm two, just give I'm you detailed I'm opinion, an intern. Don't analysis yeah. of Orezi, his career, his comebacks. Why and do you sound like Sabino? This pause guy to say, but it's, I it's this guy. It <laughs> now I'm the lead researcher. Man, evolution is good. Shout out to. You know, chess to you know, always evolving. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rezi. Good. Uh, wish him the best. All right, that's a very nice take from Steve. There, I appreciate it. Um, this is from Anon. Hi, Giants. Keep me anonymous again. Big love for reading my f- mail a few weeks back. Um, I took on the feedback, and man, my productivity is thriving personally and at work. And this guy that wrote about how to stay productive, etc, etc. Uh, quick one. I went into a throwback music rabbit hole and I find myself 
I found myself jamming to Sasha's Amy Malegon and her First Lady album. While I like to think of myself as a big fan and long-time follower of Nigeria rap, I have to defer to the old cats. Hmm. Such as yourselves. Ugh. Now, this uh, in turn, in turn, you people. Why are, people, why are people calling us old? I'm not old. You guys don't do that. Thank you. For context, I was still in my prime. <laughs> oh, wow. For context, I was still in my primary school when Sasha dropped the Mima Lego in 03. I see why this guy is calling us old. <laughs> is Sasha truly the first lady of Nigerian rap? Can you guys put me on some old school female rappers from that era and before? Much love again. P.S. When is the Loose Talk Giants patron dropping? The patron is dropping in November. I can tell you for a fact. We'll do an announcement. Hopefully next week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ayo, do you wanna do you want us to go down memory lane? Um, yeah, so Sasha P, um, yeah, quite iconic um, female rapper or female artist that tribe, you know, did her own thing with Stone Records. But if you're asking for those who came before her, I think the first person we should mention that came out with a mainstream hit was Wet MC 1994 Allen Avenue. She sampled Fella there, it's a great record. She has put it back on streaming on DSPs, so you can actually, you know, listen to it. I know she was looking for the video like two years ago and she's she still not found the video, but if she finds the video to be up on YouTube. Um, so Wed MC was seen as the first like major female rapper to come out of Nigeria. And she was very, very like what the kids would say, she was very alter, you know. Yeah, that was that was um uh, Wed MC. There was a lady, I don't know what happened to her, because I've been trying to look for her stuff for years online. I've not seen it. Her name is Queen Change. Queen Change ran the game for a minute just Queen before change. them start. Yeah, Queen Queen Change. We go dance your star. I don't know where that lady is. God bless her heart. If anybody can find out anything from that lady and we can put up our stuff on at least YouTube, please let us do. You know, she was, she was quite known, maybe probably in the Southwest. Then we now have Sasha P. But Sasha P came out with the tribe, the later came with Storm. And when she was with Storm, you know, the whole marketing thing, I know we are sick of being a genius, you know, they call her the first lady of the um, Storm Records. And that, that the first lady of Nigerian rap just came about and it stuck. Yeah, and from Sasha, we now had Kel and the likes, Eva, Lodia, you know, and everything. So, yeah, for the two rappers before Sasha, I think it would be Wed MC and Queen Change. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to 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 Sasha P. Yeah, you're right, man. Um, Wed MC, you know, came in mid nineties. Do you know Wed MC? Um, I used to see Wed MC almost every day. Oh, for real? Up as a kid. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. She stayed in. She rapped about Allen Avenue. My yeah. Granddad's place in. is on Allen Avenue. Yeah. She stayed there. My granddad's place on is on the same street. My granddad's mm. house was on the same street where where MC was staying at the time. You Red. know, and at the time, this is me, primary school, just came back from from from, from primary school in Maryland. You yeah. know, and um, John, maybe they sent me to buy something, and I just see this young lady. You know how, you know how um, what's her name, the DJ, the the female DJ who who rocks the baldy. Oh the yeah, Caesar. Dope Caesar, Dope Caesar. You know how Dope Caesar look? Yeah. You know how Dope Caesar look? That's how Wed MC look like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly the same yeah. look. The same, destroy the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Baggy, shirt, baggy jeans. jeans. Yeah, baggy jeans. That's how she look like. So, you know, she, I just look at her really like, who's this? Like, she's different. She's, you know, she always had a, she was never smiling, you know, always had a straight face on, but she always looked really hard. She looked really cool. She looked really cool. You know, I wanted to know her, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, and I then, want to test you guys' knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yes. Should I go on? Please do. I'm, you I'm, guys remember I'm the Lit's Cafe? Do you guys remember the yes. Lit's Cafe? Oh, yes. Do you know she was remember. in a... Do you know she was in a group? No, we didn't know she was in a group. 
Damn. Uh, I believe she was in a group then the she started off with her on... friend as still she still and Kefi. They used to, like if in Delta State worry, like they used to be very, very big in worry. They used mm-hmm. to rap. They used oh, to rap to gospel rap know. like bro. You see why before the POV, Kefi, the POV before of Lagos Kefi is very important. Went to, before Kefi went to uni then started working at like LSO and like O and blew up as a solo artist. But they had a jam, oh, something she, she, they shark me, something it was a rap, it was a rap record. So they were really very popular. Very popular wow. in that state. Yeah. Estelle oh, for... oh shall yeah. I see? Nigeria yeah. 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 rap is true. Oh well, I'm telling no, you. I mean, you. Hip hop takes the hip hop takes the, the the story again. Well so yeah, that was it about Wed MC. But like I have mentioned Queen Change. Queen Change Bro, there was one day I got obsessed with looking for Queen Change. Oh, I man. checked everything. I didn't just like, who's Queen it. Change again? Was it the girl that had in the uh, an album in 1993? No, 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 no. no, no, no. There's there's this rap album you guys. There is rap album that you guys always tell me up talk about. That's the first. The first female rap album is from a lady called Obi Onoha from 1989. That okay. is called yeah. was, it nice. album. was it 99? Yeah. No, it's. Yeah. No, no, 89 okay thank you thank you thank you all right yeah. obi onoha she was signed to um sonny aladi records Damn. yeah so 89 um you can check it on youtube right one of the records is called break it you're gonna break it the jam it sounds very disco but she was like that was considered rap back in the day um so yeah so you had queen change and um when Chain was signed under Even Ezra, you know, Femi Lasso for these Even Ezra, Even Ezra records, yeah. Even Ezra music, also records. And she had these videos. And I think the unique thing about Queen Change was that she was rapping, right? It was hip hop, but she was always dressed in like native attire, you know, very yeah, cultural. Kinda. You remember that video where she sat on one chair and like all the, all the men now raised the chair on their shoulders. Uh, I can't remember that one. I remember the one she was in the amusement park. That's when I can clearly remember. Yeah. You just sent me a YouTube link, but you only sent me YouTube. You didn't... No, I sent you a full you didn't link. Send a full link. Is it a full link? No, it's just. Yeah, it's click just, on it's just a... Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. My bad. I'll send you the full link. Wait, is that Queen Change? You just found it. I found it, my guy. I found it. Featuring DJ Bruma. What the nah, hell? Today's a lot. Today's a good day, my guy. Whoever sent this to you, shout out to you for. You fucking made it. Okay, it was uploaded nine months ago. It was up. No wonder. Yeah, because I know I've been searching for this for the longest time. I've been looking for Queen Change for a minute. What? Queen Change. What? Wow. This is another memory unlocked. This is the video. This is the video we're talking about, man. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yo, 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 check it out. Yo, this is DJ Smoke Rockhard. All right, pause it, pause it, pause it. We'll include it on the... Okay. We'll include it. Yeah, yeah, Bro, I'm going to take my time to enjoy this video. I've been... Look, this is... This is part of my childhood. Yeah. For real, for real. Dance my style. That was the video I was talking about, right? Yeah, dance my style. Yeah. Dance my style. Ah, Queen Change. Wow. Nah, man. Shout Ooh, out to... She even has a Twitter this page. Ah, that is what I'm seeing her. now. Yeah, I'm going to look for her. I mean, you know me, I know the shame. Immediately, what I do is I just start DMing you, <laughs> like straight up. I start, yeah. I don't waste time. I start DMing you. Bro, Omolulu, right? Omolulu, Kenny's music producer, yeah. the guy who produced Jagger. I just, I found his, his Instagram. I just DMed him. The guy thought I was weird. I, the first thing I did, I sent him a copy of, a picture of his album. <laughs> the guy said, yeah. the guy looked and said, who be this guy? You know, and then we chopped it up and everything. We'll go find out. I've 
send him a picture of his album. I know you, bro. I know you've changed now and you've, you you are in the UK and you know, you know you've moved on from that life and everything. Well, man, I know you. So, okay, you know so there you was know. a time that rap Nigerian rappers will see you and they will start dodging you because they don't want too much talk. <laughs> it, I think it's, it's very possible, yeah, because I used to just be a fanboy. <laughs> a fanboy, yeah, man. Yeah, that is it's very possible. Yeah. Um, Anyways, so we had Coin Change, who like was really dope. You know, we'll, we'll play. You we'll, you hear the music. It's like you heard the music, right? It's dope. And then, do you remember Empress? Ayo, mm. do you remember Empress? I'll try Empress to was signed to Intruder. Do you remember Intruder, the rapper, stroke producer? Yeah, Intruder the Spectacular. The Spectacular, the Intruder. One of those, yeah. Yeah, Intruder, right? Intruder, yeah. He was on the Naughty Pin record, by the way. So yeah, Intruder had Empress. a female rapper, right, called Empress. She wasn't oh, as real? good as Change, but she was rivaling Queen Change. There was that rivalry there, and it always Ooh. happens all the time with rappers. You know, once there's one and another one comes, they, people, like, pitch them together. So Empress just kind of, like, pit, you know, rival but she wasn't as good as but she was she was cool you know she shot some videos you know and everything and all that this is like pre this is like you know the 2001s the 2002s the 2003 where rap was just forming yeah you know in nigeria rap was just forming and forming but you still had like the these guys had the heavy influence of the 90s in their music Mm -hmm. But shout out to the tribes that just took it to Nigerianize it. Even for that tribe, man, a lot of things we, we, we wouldn't have experienced a lot of things the, the yeah. way they were making their music, you know. Anyways, also, sorry, we so can't forget Blaze. We can't forget Blaze, too. I was going to talk about Blaze now. Oh, Definitely yeah. going to talk about Blaze. So, Sasha was the first person that dropped the single, Emi Maligon, you know, um, uh, um, produced by, by LD, signed to, signed to Tribe Records, produced by LD. Right, yeah. shot and directed by LD the video, everything LD LD. Shout out to LD the Dawn, the real Dawn. I mean, with the other Dawns, I don't want to put anything on Don Jazzy. Don Jazzy is Dawn. Jazz, 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 Dawn. Uh-huh. Said the real no, 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 no. I'm not saying anything about them. That, that's a Dawn. I'm just saying like one of the pioneers of this Afrobeat thing we're talking about. Mm. Um, Sasha, I remember watching the video. The song came out with the video, so yeah. played it on music. Uh, What's the name of that, rec- that music, music Africa. Africa, you know? And you watch the video, and you know what Tribesmen brought to the game was something different. Game something changing. Something different because we are listening to Jay-Z, we are listening to Nas, we are listening to Mob Deep, we are listening to Nori, Capone and Orega, CNN, and all these hip-hop records, right? And then you see someone do it on the local front and infuse some sort of local context in the music, but the rhymes are still dope. The delivery is still dope, you know? So Rugged Man had done it. Pre-Rugged Man, even with What If. People are like, you know, then you hear this lady rapping and the chorus is a banger and it's just dope. You just got to respect it. You know, mm-hmm. sadly, you know, the tribe split, split cause tribesmen split, LD left and everybody had to go their way. Yeah. But I think Scoop Records was in the prime position to, to sign some of these up. Yeah. yeah. And they immediately scooped her and they whipped her in, you know, the finest butter and they made her a superstar. <laughs> yeah, they know. did. And her first album, we dropped in 2007, uh, First Lady. Mm-hmm. It's still one of the best female rap albums that you heard. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a very dope album. Best. Shout out and to T.Y. Mix. Um, yeah. And the album became, was like a sandbox, to be very honest. And is the sonical prelude to Neto C's You Know My P album. Yeah. If you listen a lot to of stuff that was on Neto C's album, they tried it out on Sasha P stuff. VCP yeah. TY Mix. Just check the album out. Exactly. It's a quick. And if you listen to um, the episode of um, You Know My P, the episode of A Music in Time, where we break down um, the You Know My P album, I broke it down yeah. with... Uh, Maya Waido and um, Tia Alunga, Tia. you know. Um, we talked about it there. Sasha P's first lady played a very instrumental role in birthing Neto C's debut album. Yeah. The sound, like we just talked about, sonically, there was a shift. It was just dope. It was just dope. And Sasha knew 
something that a lot of people back then didn't still understand, which was branding. Yeah, so very good with branding. Always, very good with branding, very fresh. Spoke when she was, you know, she wanted to speak. Wasn't pressured to, to, you know, just no controversies. Stayed away, like clean, clean brand. Very clean, yeah. Till today. I remember when Eva Lodia was like, you know, hot and uh, upcoming, you know, and all that. And she took multiple shots, you know, at all the female rappers at the time. You know, I was watching what was going on. She had dropped the video everywhere. I was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? And Sasha came in and, you know, dropped a couple of tweets. But before you know it, she deleted all the tweets and just stayed back again, you know. So, so Sasha still is somebody you still look at and say still at the top of the game. For someone who'd only drop one album, by the way. Yeah. Only one album in that still. career lifespan, right? Debut album in 2007 and she didn't drop again. Maybe by 2010, she dropped the, you got money in the air, put your hands up. And then yeah. a few years later, she hooked up with Night House and dropped like one or two records. But mm-hmm. like, that was it. You know, so like, I won't say the car, like, I won't say you know, a very fulfilling career in terms of like discography and everything. No. But the impact she made, yeah, as just branding herself, calling herself the first lady, it really did a lot for hip hop for the women. And I'm sure it inspired like a lot of women to also like move into the game and do what they have to do. So moving beyond Sasha, you mentioned Blaze. Blaze is heralded as for a very long time. I think that doesn't happen. That hasn't happened in like the last five years. But for a very long time, everybody will say, oh man, Blaze, nah, don't fuck with Blaze, man. Blaze is the hardest. And I used to just tell people, where are the records? Yeah, that's where the problem. The you can't convince people who were not around during that period that Blaze was almost like the film of Bob Nine. So where are the records, my guy? Yeah. Blaze was on that level, lyrically. She used to yeah. take on guys. She used yeah. to take on guys. And I think, like her, in terms of verses or her performances, her best performances on freestyles. Um, yeah. What's that record? Bragging oh, rights. Bragging rights. Yeah, smoke that shit. Yeah, on freestyles, free, free, free at last album, two o seven as well. Mm-hmm. Blaze dominated that record. Blaze, I'm um, of course freestyle was a monster on that record. Freestyle but Blaze just showed everybody that. Blaze just showed everybody that if you think you can rap, like I'm on that level. You know, she was on Mode Nine's album easily. Mode Nine put her on the album, um, the 2010 album, Down with Terry the Rapman and Craft. She was everywhere. She was on the so Un- Unemise album, Blaze. Yeah, she was you on Unemise. Like, um, Emma yeah. had to go and get her and say, please be on my debut album. That's how important Blaze was as a, an MC. And she also carried herself very well. But, like, in terms of like solo projects and releasing music, she didn't drop a lot of music. But yeah. she still today, she still has that notoriety. Yeah. Right? She's our Lauren yeah. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She still has the notoriety of being one of the best, the very best. So you yeah. had Blaze as well. And you had other artists. You had a lady called Attitude. Attitude Attitude is from, as a matter of fact, I'm in a track with Attitude and a guy called Slim T on Exos 2010 album. I think that's the you last should. time I released it. Please go and listen yeah, to that so we can hear our sax rap. Yeah, it's on Spotify. It's everywhere. The name of the album is... Um, I can't remember the name of the album. Exo's album is is his first is his debut album. Um, if I remember, we'll put it in the show notes. We'll put it in the link. But name of tra- Hip Hop Speaks. That's the name of the album. Oh, so okay. we're on the track. We're on the track title actually. You know, Slim T, myself, and Attitude. So you guys can hear how Attitude used to bust on the record. She was like, she's like their mood nine sets. She's really good as well, and she dropped a couple of singles here and there, but you know, never made it you know, to be very prominent in the game. Um, and then you move on from that to like the Mo Cheddar era. We will miss somebody. Um, you will miss, you will skip the, somebody in this thing. No, of course, chemistry, bookie. Bookie, yeah. 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 yeah those those are the people they are to mention. Now, bookie is somebody who I really respect. And if you want to talk about like some of the best MCs, if you want to do a proper ranking, I think I would rank Bookie as the first. Bookie has two solid albums. The first album was the Moriri album. Moriri, Moriri, da 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 go go da 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 da
Yeah, definitely. So she, she had that that one. Then the the next album, I can't remember the name of these albums anyway, but I have them. The next album was the one I had. I wanna take you away. Yeah, I wanna take you away. You know, she came, but that was the 2010 album. She it was a comeback album after releasing the debut in like 07. And Bookie for me is like the best because she she delivers music in a very simple way, but she's rapping, right? She doesn't need to put like all the punchlines and blah, blah, blah. She does it, but it's clean, it's clear. You yeah. Know? And she moved into the gospel route. And until today, she's still doing music and, you know, putting out music, but, you know, from a gospel perspective. And, and, it's, mm-hmm. and, it's, and it's pretty dope. Chemistry, on the other hand, that everybody liked, I wasn't the biggest fan because, Same again, I, I didn't see the body of work. She had one record. I think she featured Terry G on the record or there was somebody she put on mm-hmm. the record. I can't remember. I think it was Terry so G. I know right? people read him. So rap was just like a side gig for her. For her, right? So I think, her, again, her best performance and most prominent performance is on Jimmy Jats, um Too Much, where yeah. he put on he had Pookie, he had Sasha, he had Chemistry. Who was the last person? Bookie, Chemistry, Sasha. I can't remember. I think those three. It was four now. Wasn't it four? Wasn't it four people on the record? No, three verses now. It was three. Okay. And yeah, he shot a video three. and everything, which was dope. Which was dope, actually. And, you know, that, that really helped female rap as well. So that was, there, there was that. Then Eva Ludia. Now, Eva. Eva is an MC. MC, MC fan. MC is in there. Eva Alodia is an MC. Like you listen to her, you like, and she got better at it. She got better at it. She was so good. Straight Butter put her on the record, and that record kind of took her. I love know, that song. I think that's to that me, that's her best performance. God. That, that record is a monster. That record is a, that record is a monster. We'll, we'll play a bit of that record for you. That record is, is silly. Dun, 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 dun. It was XYZ that did a bit now, and she yeah. killed the record. You know, so there was her, and um, I remember what's the name of this record? Hold on, hold on, yes, me for lady, me for lady. Yeah. That was also another mad record. Where I think that's her best, one of her best deliveries. Mm-hmm. Did they do this? The do that? Then the the cool kiss and the cool cat. Like she can rap. She has the cadence, she has the flow, she has the lyrics. Then she had a record with um she had a record with Source Kid. I remember she dropped her EP. The EP yeah, had Gigo. one. Gigo EP. Yeah, the Gigo EP. What's the name of that record that the EP had? One mad jam record like that. Can you remember yeah, that I can't remember. It's been a while. Oh man, if I I think she's my best. If I'm if I'm gonna I think she's my best. I don't did it. Remember the record? Okay, I don't did it. I don't did it. Yeah. I don't did it. I don't did it. Yeah, she had jams. She had jams. I respect her a lot. And then, of course, there was Mocheda, who was the pop princess. So she could rap or she could sing. There was that as well. And then you had a couple of other people also. You know, there was Miss Case, who raps in, in Yoruba. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lady, the, the lady that was signed to to capital at the time uh i can't remember her name fifi uh, v does z is it z or v z z thank v, you z yeah. or z you know for the sorry there's kelo no no forget to the skeleton or here there go kelly Kel. Kel. how can i forget kelechi or here uh kel kel see uh, i want to do a music in timing on on kel's album right the investment and um, yeah, Kel brought Mars X up to the game. Be a, it's not going to be the kind of review that I've given to the other albums. So for Kel, right, I really want to talk about how uh, inve- the investment album was put together. I kind of compare it to the game's documentary, how Aftermath put together that album, right? Yeah. They had they assembled some of the best producers, assembled some of the best artists at the time. And yeah. Chris Peters could do this, right? Because they were yeah they were all these guys computers was like you know top 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 boy in the industry as a video music you know director so you had jay martins on that album you had jesse jags on that album you had mi on that album 
it had like a bunch of you had Wiz on the an upcoming Wiz on the album. You yeah. had Wadi on the album. So many people on the album, the investments. And the album too is it's an enjoyable album. But from there, you know, what happened? She left Kenny, she left them them, you know, capital. Capital. And you know, she she struggled with making music. She I mean eventually you know started making music again and everything, but it, it never got to that height of wow, wow right. Where she was. Yeah. But it's 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 something definitely, you know, it's something that we should talk about. And so it's yeah. one of the albums I've also penned to to discuss. Um but yeah, Kel. And I love Kel. I love her because she was very, you know, very hard. Chick from Satellite Town just doing her thing. Yeah. Uh yeah, it was nice going down memory lane. Memory lane. Who who who's who are the who are the uh, rap chicks of now though? As God in the building. Um, I think S God has like the personality. Mm-hmm. I don't think she has the music to back it up. I've listened to her music, you know. Um, you have uh, we also have Deto Black. Um, Same thing with Deto Black, like big yeah. personalities. But I think they need to spend more time in the studio to just release music and give us music. Yeah, Deto Black on um, that Odyssey record, Body Count. Yeah, damn. Yeah, wow. Yes. That that's what won me over. I was like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, Ditto. I like it. Yeah. I like the simplicity in the rap. I mm. like I like the simplicity in the rap. I like the finesse. I like the flaws. I just need yeah. you to give me more music. And yeah. you know, Dito has dropped an EP. She has dropped an EP. Oh, yeah, very album. true. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. listened to it and everything. I listen to I listen to um Dito. I listen to S. I listen to both of them. Yeah. So Madina, who's not a rapper, anyways, like mm. more of like alternative, you know, rock music. Candy Blix is a rapper. Even though she's doing street stuff now, Candy Blix is a rapper actually. Okay. That's yeah. Street, um, street level with, stuff. She used to be with the. She used to be in a group signed to Chalk City, but yeah, you know, she's the only one. Now. Yeah. Um. Street King. I can't remember the name of the group, but like she used to be in the group and everything. Yeah. Um. Shout out to her as well. Um. But like these new chicks, I just need them. Like. The, the the personality, the persona, the brand, the branding, is there. everything is there. It's there. I just need more music. I just yeah, need more, more music. music. When I hear the music, I need I need it to be I need it to be up there. Right. So I listen In to S God. I listen to uh, I've listened to like um the record she did is Somadina. I just wanna tap shit. I just yeah. want she Tito is on a new record with King Zamir now, right? Yeah. And it's dope, but like I need you guys to do more. Like I need you guys to put out your own shit, push your own shit so that you can push these other guys and show them that you are just as or Could equally or even more talented than them. Yeah. All right, we just went into a filming rabbit, rabbit hole. Ball. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, for, for more of this, you can listen to the defunct um, music in time podcast. Researcher, researcher, research, lead researcher. That's fake news. Eh? First of all, yeah. First of all, right? That's okay. not encouraging. Yeah. That's not you. Is this how you mentor people? <laughs> tough love, tough love. <laughs> is this how you mentor? This your mentoring. This is terrible mentoring. Oh god! This is how you mentor people. And I'm I'm worried for these people. <laughs> I thought too, they go wrong. They go wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm, genuinely, I'm genuinely worried because this is this is uh, mental abuse. Like they're just going to be a generation of people that you know in the next few years they're just going to be moving mad. Good. Contributing to the mm-hmm. madness in Lagos in this country. <laughs> We're already dealing with a lot. <laughs> right mm-hmm. now on Twitter, people are just gaslighting people. That's yeah. in middle class. You've been enjoying. Yeah. You've been, you've been yeah, middle class was the reason dollars. why. Not rich people. Not the rich people who did more of these trips. Who who used more of our dollars? But it's the middle class. You know, <laughs> where's the middle yeah. class? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Middle class has suffered in Nigeria. Yeah, suffered in Nigeria. Suffered. It's always the middle class that bears the brunt of everything. Yeah, everything. everything. You must be people all the time. Because, see, the Talika man, the poor man, he already knows his position. He's not going yeah, to... Nah, you already know where you did already now. You, don't be, you know where you did He's now. buying his hundred naira gare and soaking it. Do you understand? Soaking it the in peace. Man, the rich man, right, 
Yeah. He's just eating up his uh, of the 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 his investments, right? Mm-hmm. So it is the middle class. You are the one that has to pay for Netflix. Bad you, are bros. That, you are the one that wants to go to uh, what's that uh, Chibi verse. Oh, uh, Chibi Chibi verse. Chibi verse is nice. So. Chibi verse is nice. I like Chibi verse. You a lot of civilian babes there. Yeah, but there are a lot of civilian mm-hmm. babes there. So you meet natural babes. You see babes that are on your level, not uh, not inflated oh, babes. You no, know, you know the other thing that they talk. You know, Chibi verse, you don't have inflated women there. You have normal civilians. Yeah. Hey. Nah. You don't have those high maintenance that those uh-huh. high maintenance girls that they've that have never used their own money to maintain themselves. It's at Obi's house now that people are asking you for money of land just to see their nakedness. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. High maintenance yeah. Babes. Yeah, nine to five babes go to Chibi Verse. Twenty four seven, three sixty five babes go to Obi on a Monday. We we'll leave you for if you understand what we are saying, you know you understand. And we don't understand. A trial will convince you. Yeah, a trial will convince you. Yes, you. And not only convince you, you, a trial will also <laughs> confuse you. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> and impoverish you. We <laughs> <laughs> will leave you in a, in a perpetual state of confusion. When they, tell you to buy Van, when they tell you to buy Van Cleef bracelets for them, you will know how for. You will know. You will know. So this Nigeria, I did too. <laughs> that too, Nigeria. That too, two, two countries never, called Nigeria. That was in the profession. <laughs> Do you know it's wild? Bro. When someone says I'm a high maintenance babe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're not the one maintaining yourself. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> That's the irony in it. I think uh, it's, it's crazy. It's, 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 it's what we call premium pricing. <laughs> you know when you're doing pricing strategy, right? I know that. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it works. It works for Tesla. It works for all premium brands. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it works. Yeah, it's, 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 it's um, tested and tried. I don't, I don't blame you yeah. because if yeah. if week is cost if the week you're working is costing eight hundred k or more you can't just be exactly you can't exactly you can't come and date you can't be you can't, you can't be talking to me nine to five you can't be talking to me nine to five now you can't be talking to me no at all it's not possible I'm I'm, I'm I'm mad yeah when there's illegal money everywhere <laughs> oh. you that boys that you know you're gonna meet that for that kind of money now not me exactly not be me you know yeah um, the only problem the only yeah. problem is that with what you have said, Steve, is that they are not premium. <laughs> oh, so again, now you won't know this one. They, are, they say they are yeah, premium. Okay, you're, premium. You're, being, you're being too deep with it. But I understand what you're saying. They're not premium. They're not premium. See, yeah. if you see a high maintenance person and the person looks at you and says, Steve, I'm high maintenance. Yeah. In fact, they don't even say maintenance. It's I'm high maintenance. Yeah, maintenance, mm. yeah. Right? You won't argue now, would you? No, I won't. You won't argue. Won't. Exactly. That's my point. Mm. Anyways, um, I was going to say something, but I lost my train of thought when you guys were talking. Let's okay. let's go back to the email. I hope we've done this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, shout out to you. you want to go uh, back to that email after you people spent another hour no, no, on it? No, another I'm one. Uh, calm down. I don't, I don't. This is from another anonymous. Je- Dear Giants, I would love to remain anonymous. Love the board. My guy put me in. My guy put me on in July, and I haven't looked back. I'm gonna keep my thing brief. God bless you. God bless you as you do so. God will bless you this October. Bless you November. Bless you, December. From January, you can figure it out yourself. <laughs> I was listening to the Flowers episode, the one where Steve did not connect the mic in the beginning. I was listening on my headphones, but I realized I was at home alone and I shouldn't be doing that. My laptop speaker isn't that loud and one useless neighbor has connected to my speaker and has refused to disconnect. So I hooked my laptop up to the TV and I encountered a unique problem. Usagi, boss, when you are speaking, I couldn't hear you properly, so I increased the volume, but when Ayo speaks, I was afraid I would be disturbing the neighbor that, was, that had ransomed my speaker. 
I know it's money that has made my boss Osage so calm and laid back. Oh. I am sure that he's still hustling. I am sure when he was still hustling, he was he was much louder. <laughs> These guys are crazy. Talk about it. Talk about yeah. it. Speak the truth, young man. Fuck off, Steve. He said, laughing my ass okay. off. It's all jokes, though. One love. Keep the keep up the good work, my bosses. I appreciate you guys so much. Okay, I know. And here's what's going on. I don't use the same mic as Steve and Ayo do. I've ordered the same mic, and they will ship it soon, so our voices will be regulated. Yeah. Our audio engineer, on the other hand, Nana, is uh, meant to normalize uh, everything so that it sounds the same. But I, I don't yeah. think he's doing. But he says he does it. You know, yeah. um, but I don't know if he has the done evidence. It not there. So now you go explain, exactly, you go explain, because if somebody yeah. people are still talking about this like this, then you know it it, it hasn't been done well. But anyways, yeah. the my my microphone is coming in very soon, and once that comes, we can all have the same, you know, wavelength or volume of output. So shout out to you. Let's move on to the next one. So it is not about me having money. I mean, the trenches, oh, please send funds. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'm trying to, and don't send Naira. Please, I'm his manager. Anybody that wants to send him from, please send it through. He's me. not my manager. Thank God I'm here. Uh, and he's not uh, my manager. I acted, as a, I acted as your manager once. I acted as your manager yes, one no. time. Yes, no. MTN, MTN thingy, right? <laughs> I remember now. Uh, Steve just went to me and said, That's my manager. Steve said, Boom. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I can't think of like two. Did I did I give you I give you manager's fee now? I give you your, your give cut. Now no, show free or show free job now. Nah, do no give you cut. I did it for the culture. I did it for the culture, you know. You know, the culture. You know what? Steve, you know what? You know what? If they call yeah. me back again, I'll give you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Come on. Oh, they call, of, me, uh, back yeah, if they call me back again. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hush Puppy was a menace. One guy did a thread of Hush Puppy's dreams. That guy was a medic. Hush Puppy. It was a problem for the society. Big one. Uh, see, how can you be a known fraud star and be tension to people like that? Bro, he didn't him. make any attempt to hide. That guy was in our faces fully. Bro, that guy was calling the video poor. Mm -hmm. Bro. Bro. Oh, you remember? Remember now, that's when they had their first fight now. Yes, now that guy was tensioning OBU. O O one. O O one or Sags. Ah no no no. Hush Puppy was a problem. He deserved it. was a menace. Hush Puppy said. Hush Puppy went to his garage. He said, if you if you did lock your car or you did open your car and your car they did pew pew. Say you lock and me do pew pew. You never hustle. You never reach there. He's still the also, he's still the also, you never get there yet to oh, play. I was like, what the fuck? No, this Tell guy me, was a man. Yes, he mm. yes, touched me. Touch me. Addy Hot. Addy Hot. I was uh, Anyways, um, this is from Kenneth. Kenneth says, Hello, Loose Talk. Usagi, ALT2, and Steve. You guys have been great. I love you all. Quick and short. God bless you too, my brother. Quick and short. That's how that's how that's how some people like it too. Quick and short. All these long, long, yeah. long things you people do. It doesn't work at times. You think you are <laughs> you are you are impressing somebody. You keep it long. No, at times quick and short is the best thing. Especially for for people that are people that who are not in their prime. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I got it since. <laughs> I can't relate. My brother. My brother. <laughs> See, I need somebody who is in their early 40s and dating somebody who is in their 20s. I want to know what the sexual dynamic is like. I'll read really sure it. Yeah. The 40s. Yeah. The guy in the 40s, like... go use, you go use the experience kid in the I also like to hear from people, girls, ladies who are in their 20s and are dating someone significantly older. Like, what's the yeah, sexual dynamic like? Dynamics. I really want to know. I really want to know what it's like. In Africa, we're, not, very, we're not public with that uh, subject at all. You know, so. No, it's anonymous. They were writing. Okay, okay, anonymous. Yeah, it's anonymously writing. And let us know. Yeah. It's anonymous. 
writing, if you're dating someone you're older than 15 years, if you 15 years apart, right? 15 years, at least 15 years. If you have 12 years, 10 years, yeah, writing, but I'd love to know if you're a younger person dating an older person and if you're an older person dating. And also, on the flip side, if you're a younger man dating an older woman, a woman in her oh. 40s and you're in your 20s, I would love to know as well. Please. And if you're an elderly woman, well, I won't say elderly, but if you're in your 40s or late 40s or even 50s and you're dating someone significantly younger, say 20 years, 15 years younger, please write to us. We'd like to know. what What is the sexual dynamics like? Thank you. All right. This is from Kenneth. Kenneth says, quick and short, shout out to you. I'm writing because of this Lai Wasabi issue. I know you guys are trying to address the idea of people gatekeeping um, based on their preferred choices. But my own view about that issue was that Lai's content had always tended to be created for a bit of the elite. People smart enough to get the punchlines. I mean, not everyone prefers a Lai's skit to a Sydney Talker skit or Brashagi skit and the likes. In fact, nobody complained when these other guys started advertising for betting companies. The positioning of Lai in the industry has been different. More like he's, he had been moving deliberately towards a particular audience and it became a shocker seeing him go uh, that route for his first known advert and honestly, he could have turned that back down. A friend and I were talking a friend and I were talking on when a fintech needs to push their brand in Nigeria through a skit maker. Who, who would be the guy? Definitely, you don't want that market associated with a betting platform because of trust issues. I give this example because I have seen Lai attend shows sponsored by fintech, edutech at universities, even as a panelist. Talking smart and correct. I also personally feel that people rated Lai so that so they objected to that not because of the hate. It is also um, this is also happening because he slightly picked a side a long time ago with his type of content. Big up everyone once again. You guys are lifesavers. Peace. What do you guys think? Why are you trying to paint betting as if um, betting is one low? It's for low value. I don't understand. What are you trying to say? That elite people don't bet too, or elite people don't gamble. My brother, do you know how much is dollar right now? Have you gone to the market? Someone should turn down a bag because of your expectation of him. Someone that you are not feeding. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey God. You go hard. It's, unfa- it's, it's, it's highly unfair. The fintech people you are talking about, don't they onboard these betting companies? <laughs> I don't know. It's betting a crime. Betting is not a crime. I don't understand. <laughs> Go and look for all your fintechs. The most the 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 merchants, the business that gives them most transactions are betting companies, and they're making their money. I'm just but a comedian, someone that does it on Instagram, should not do it because if he do, if he does it, brands like fintech will not endorse him. The fintech that's also making money from betting. My brother, you see, you see the you see the connection. You see, see the thing no jail now. You see I'm now. You think I'm now. You do one kind. It doesn't make sense now. You do one kind now. Yeah? Huh. Bro, I used to work for a fintech company, right? <laughs> and we had a betting company as one of our partners, merchants. Yeah. They left two billion in our account for like one month. They literally <laughs> forgot about it. People don't two know billion what's happening. Uh, Wow. Mm-hmm. Like two billion naira mm-hmm. was raised in a month. People and these are people funding their betting wallets. Betting wallets, yes. Through us. Do you understand? We're a platform that funded their betting, the company's betting wallets for them to carry bets. They can fund the wallets through our platform. The betting company forgot about the because they forgot about the two billion naira with us. Then they just remembered one day and were in a meeting, we're like, I think we have some money with you guys. How much is it now? <laughs> You said it's um yeah it's about two two billion. billion. Um, ah okay, that's that's, that's, that's big is, enough. Please let me find some time to send the money, that money to us. Please. Need to be created for a bit of the elite. I mean, I'm just on the call, like to get the punch lines. This Are we still this elite? Thing. What is elite? This people they bet pieces. This people why they talk so that you're trying to they they bet pieces. They they bet well, bro. 
<laughs> oh god, let me just move yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, like Steve said, the betting companies or sorry, your fintech love loving fintech companies, most of them that you know um provide payment gateways yeah. for for businesses, they also partner with these same you know betting companies that you don't want somebody to not that you don't want someone or you feel like the person shouldn't associate with, right? Using air quotes there because you feel like you know it's not a brand. Well mm-hmm. news for Everybody gambles. Everybody bets. All right. So let's go on to the next part of the show, which is Ask the Giants. When last did I want to ask something. You know, before... Sorry, sorry to cut you short. You know, no before, problem. right, the listeners used to not be happy with these segments. The... The family the segment, segment. Yeah. yeah. Has that changed? Have you gotten any feedback? Because I, I never really understood why they didn't like it. Because it's still the same thing. It's still us giving our opinions on on something, right? Just like talking points. Mm-hmm. So I, I never knew why. I never understood in the idea behind not liking it. I think a few things have changed with the fan mail. First of all. We've moved past the phase of people writing to talk about how they enjoy the show. That used to be okay, a core okay. of what the fan mail would entail, right? Oh. And then it became very repetitive where every writer, you know, every fan mail, every listener who's writing will say, you know, I'm a big fan of the show. You guys started, how you influenced me and all that. That has now yeah. become a small part of like the fan mail. And people are now talking about things we either discussed on the podcast or other things they want us to talk about as the first yeah. part the second part is we've also been able to cleverly infuse our own thoughts and opinions through people's fan meals right yeah and then we've integrated it properly and i think it's now yeah. a core of the show where if we're not reading you know fan mail like That's it's true. even more interesting than the talking points I swear. Yep. Because the way you guys went off on the female, uh, the women in rap, Nigeria, guy, it yeah. was all from off a fan mail, but you guys just, <laughs> you guys went in, you know, that, that's true. Yeah. That's true. You have a point. You're right. Yeah. You're right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Much love. Much love. And I think, you know, that's, that's the, that's the beauty of this, of this podcast. It's, of it's the community. community. Yeah. yeah. The full, so, you know, not to sound like, you know, the diaspora, the community, the Africa, <laughs> the, new, you know, the new Africa. The, uh, the new frontier. What was the name of the former FIRS boss? You know, the daughter was in was in Lagos some years back. You know, she was just was riding through VI. You know, mm. she put the hashtag, you know, the new Lagos. <laughs> Wakanda, it was Wakanda in it. You see, you would do things like this. I, I, it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit well with me. You know, a, a, a small section of the city or the small section of the state is not the entire state. You know, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And you just sit in one part of. Is a mis- is a misrepresentation. Nobody you go tell her what she go. Re- Nobody you go tell her what she go represent. I would think she know be that. Maybe she know vex. You understand? Mm, for yeah. every, for every, if you're in Karimu Kotsuno, you're in a Dubu Telo, chilling and saying the new Lagos. Please remember <laughs> there are places called the Jewish Aga. <laughs> Lori Cement. A jump body. A jump body. A jump body. There are places like that in this same Lagos that you cannot call the new Lagos. Do you know that I have not been to Agege in a long time, right? And mm-hmm. yeah, um, a few weeks back, I actually went to Ifakojaye. And we went, mm-hmm. in fact, specifically a place called Amadia. Mm. Mm. You know Amadia? After Abu Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All those names scare me, please. Those names, those names scare you, right? I went to see someone that had to go and see somebody there. In fact, I was compelled to go there. But I didn't drive. My driver drove, right? I was in Tarasit and we went through Agege. 
and that whole place has changed. Yeah, is it the Penn Cinema side? No, no, I, the Penn Cinema side, because now there's one bridge there. That yeah, be you can't there. identify the place anymore. Yeah. Damn, the whole place changed. Gentrification is coming. Don't worry. Wow. And I heard it was somebody that did those bridges back then. Yeah. And how about they did some 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 really good infrastructure in those areas too. You, you do some legwork. You get some legwork. Yeah, in, in some of those areas, you really did some infrastructure, and I hear people really love Ambodi. Yeah. You know Nigeria now. If you just build bridge and do some very nice, that's why they used to help Buhari that time now. <laughs> <laughs> no hanging fruit. Everybody. Build bridge. Like big bridge. Big uh, build uh, roundabout. You are good now. What else with me? Okay. Commission one teaching hospital. You're fine. You're a great Nigerian governor. Nigerians just love what they see, Sha. Mm. They must see that brick and mortar. World class infrastructure. State of the art. Do you know a big problem? Do you know what we should we should um we should uh how do we say it? We should is is it what's the what's the verb? We should oh yeah we should declare the state of emergency. Do you know what we yeah. we urgently need to declare the state of emergency? What education? Oh, no, no, there's no hope. It can't happen. No. Education in Nigeria needs to be people will not go to school. At least people will not go to school. People will not go to school cannot declare something that they, they don't find valuable as there's an emergency there. Come on now, come on. Don't don't play. Don't play. <laughs> don't play. You don't play. Learn. You go on learn. You know, it's also fascinating. Quickly, I know I'm just jumping topics. We'll come back to the education thing. But it's, it's fascinating to see how the internet can create a a superstar influencer in a couple of months, right? And in real time, you can see how, you know, this guy is going to become or well, has become so popular that he has now started, you know, blending with some of the most popular people, you know, in yeah. the media and it's, really, yeah, it's, really, it's, it's, really, it's really intriguing. It's yeah. really intriguing, to be very honest. I like, um, yeah. I thought about it and um, I don't know, there's, there's no, I don't have anything bad with it. Like, I'm like, you know, you know, life is tough. Actually, not any, any, is. exactly, any way, any way people can just maybe make it or just you know be be and form some sort of relevance i don't have a problem with like for example i saw i see someone someone in, in another group was making mockery of a man of this guy that does content he's like a very bulky guy yeah the guy has like the guy has muscles but he he, he dances a lot and the nah, guy was laughing at him like, uh, no 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 you didn't you need I, to get that I read, the news i responded i said this guy no keep it apparently he's in nigeria it's not stealing He's not, you know, he's, not you know, harming, you know, he's not harming anybody. Bro, yeah. let him be. This life, he's he just getting lights light and camera. That is all, he's man. just getting light. He could be doing you know, worse so things. He could be doing, he could be doing bad things. Team, exactly. Yeah. He could be doing worse things that, that, should be, that should get us worried. I'm not bothered. I'm not you worried about it. You know, you know what, Steve? You're 100% yeah. right. <laughs> Because that guy could have could, that guy could have can, he could have had cancer somewhere and I, just be thank you. At life. Yeah. And, and you know, yeah. wishing that he could I'm just wishing, thank you. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. And I, I think there's thing. something about personal and this thing that you mentioned is true. There's something about personal experiences that make you just losing up. People are talking about the new offsets. Uh, the new offset, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. That he's now kind of like his personal has changed, that he's more Libra, he's like more lo- and and I've seen some comments on on an Instagram post yesterday, and people were saying maybe the death of um, takeoff, maybe had contributed to it. And you know, he has he's seen another perspective of life. I'm like, you know what, mm. life is worth living. Let me live a little. You know, so it happens, man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Let me yeah. just quit all this gangster nonsense. You don't understand go... this this strong man person. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. what? Yeah. It's one life. Yeah. You go, you go. You, you go, go, you go. No time. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've read something here where. The guy talked about um he takes care of a lot of like elderly people who you know usually pass away or like they say nowadays transition. 
Yeah. And yeah. one of the things the guy talked about is that the biggest regrets, you know, most people have is that they didn't just do some of the things that they wanted to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, what was sure. oh, I can't do it. Oh, no time. Oh, you know. But see, when you're about to go, you now start thinking of all the things you wanted to do. So do them now. Yeah. Do them now. You know, live a little. Yep. Yeah. Live a little. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do that. That's, that's why. That's true. That's true. That's why I'm happy about some of the things I do. And you know, the funny thing is that there's nothing remarkable you want to do now that people won't laugh at you or, or look at you somehow. If you, mm-hmm. if you don't look weird or if they're not laughing at you, I don't they're not doing something in life changing. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Anything you want to do now that is going to be very successful or is going to leave an impact, let me just put it like that. People will laugh at you. People will critique you. And you must be fine with that. LeBron James is one of the greatest basketballers. I think he's 38 or 39, right? He's in year 20 or 21. 20, 21. And people are still clowning LeBron James. If you go on Twitter, people are still clowning this guy. He's been playing basketball for 21 years. At the top of his game, people still they laugh at LeBron, LeBron, waiting LeBron, they play, see waiting in the play, they play, oh, the last ring he won, oh, it was, it was in the bubble, he won it, oh, you understand? There is nothing, I'm telling you, look at what Elon Musk is doing with Twitter, he's rebranded it, he's done a lot of things, people are still critiquing it and everything, so it is part of the process, so that thing you're afraid of starting because you think, oh, my neighbor, oh, my neighbor will think I'm weird, or ah, my colleague will just think I'm, I'm funny. Did they? Did they? They play. They <laughs> play. This is the real they play. They play. Now back to this state of emergency. Uh, back to the very dark man guy. So it's interesting how like you can use a platform like TikTok and Twitter and Instagram and people and your content blows and people are taking your content. All the aggregators are taking your content and. You know, before you know it, you're the in guy. And yeah, the story is very interesting. All the way from, you know, in Abuja, just doing your thing. And, you know, flew to Lagos, met with all with the video, documented the whole thing. It was very interesting to see. But now, the downside, I won't say downside, but, you know, you will now start experiencing something new, which is when you start being becoming part of the system, it gets very hard to critique the system. Yeah, no objectively it gets now and be fact them, you know in an unbiased way because now you have friends in the system it's hard it's hard i remember you know we just being in the entertainment media space and we had to write about people that we considered considered was their friends yeah <laughs> that's what we have to do you know some of them didn't like it. Some of them hated it. I remember Dotun, you know, I had to write some stories on Dotun. And I had to. And, you know, he wasn't happy because he felt like, ah, so I guess you understand. You got to do what you got to do. So, that, you know, I'm looking forward to what happens going forward. Anyways, back yeah, to this. It's the drama, the drama is still on. Yeah. Back to this education thing. Is it uniquely designed this way to ensure that the state of education in this country is in a is you know, the uh, education in this country is in a deplorable state? Is it uniquely designed, or this is just basic yeah. competence? Well, um, um, I think it's both. I don't think. I don't think. I think you, if we kind of like agree or suggest that something was something has been spe- specifically designed we're giving too much credit to to people who don't know anything <laughs> there's nobody in nigeria who can design anything so the reason why the state the educa- the state of education is deplorable as you say is because the country itself is in that state so everybody everything in the country will be in that deplorable state is anything you talk about education you can talk about energy you can talk about every other sector 
there's no outlier really it's hardly so any outlier no, yeah so it's no there's no there's no need you know there's no need there's nothing there, nobody's there, there, i think it's just really competency I think it's just it's basic just incompetence. That's it. It's just basic incompetence. Nigeria has we, co- we continue to reward incompetence in Nigeria. Yeah. So yeah. it gets worse and yeah. worse. So nothing. There's no punishment for being incompetent. There's no punishment for being mediocre. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, as, not Nigeria, as long as you, are, you have money, you can get away with anything. And, yeah, and you know so, the people. Bro, let's not go into that. It's, um, to the into the rabbit hole. Otherwise, no vex, no vex, no vex, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Just one minute, All right, let's go into ask the giants. Ask the giants. Ask the giants. This is but from. Ask the giants is long ago. Come No, no, I'll, I'll breeze through it. I'll breeze through it. Right. They, they've asked the giants. It's our responsibility. Oh, it's they only one. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. It's that makes ask sense. The giants. What is that? Uh, um, Ayo, do you want to? Tell people what Ask the Giant is about before we start. Yeah, Ask the Giant is when uh, any of our listeners send I mean, us a very long farm. I'm only joking. When they send us questions about life, concerning life, you know, issues, struggles, the ups and downs. And we, for us to, in our for little us to knowledge, it for that. Yeah, I don't know about that. We, in our little knowledge, <laughs> try to give guys, you know, you know, create a smooth path for them. You know, just comforting words and another um, outside perspective to their problems or issues. Yeah, or dilemmas, yeah. yeah. You know, pass that one. Well, your agony uncles, as they say, agony uncles. Was anybody here in science class? Yes, I was for like two years, oh, two no. miserable years. I says one, I says two. How did you know how to do it? I switched now. Switch now? Is this, you can switch SS3. now. I switched SS two, so I have to go back a class SS two last SS two. Yeah, I had to go back SS two. Then I did it. I actually will switch SS2 third term to um arts, ABU, science, social sciences. Yeah. And the best that was the best thing that happened to you, right? That was the best thing, no. Unless I would still be doing the chemical formula somewhere. See eh? ah, I don't have our back to this education thing again. I bet let's just leave this education now. Let's just I know. Let's help this young man. Young woman. I know. There's no reason I should have been in science class. No reason at all. Now they're fizzing now. Now you want a fizzing now. No. Sorry, there are plenty of reasons why you should be. You have, you why? have, you have that mind. If it's, if it's, I, I did be, I did, I did science. I was in science. I did even, even did BSc. I have it, you know. Um. So now me, I think, the, I think that analogy suits me more. I don't even know what I was doing in science class, but I think you are. You are more analytical. Um. You are, the, you are a numbers guy. Um, you are good in math, so I, I think you, I think you, I think you were supposed to be sensitive. That's what me. I, that's how me. I think. That's what me. I think. I think I would have done better if I was in arts or commercial. Mm, okay, that makes sense too. That makes sense too. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Well, I guess everything leads us to where we need to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. last last. Let's go into this last dance. Um. Let's go. Cinder has done me strong thing. Well, <laughs> I let. Here's my story. I met this girl on Cinder and we clicked remarkably and hit it off on the first date. Touching boobs, pressing inside cinema, and everything unholy. Telling you the truth, I thought in my mind, this girl is wild. But then I'm wild too, so fair game. I won't judge. Especially since this is like an exploratory phase in my sex life. So it's even better I found someone who has similar energy. Where I come, where I come make mistake be say, I fall for the girl. Well, if you ask me, as at last week, I won't say falling for her was a mistake. Here's why. The girl has a wonderful personality. She's loving. She shows a lot of humanity. She's respectful. Gives off loyalty, is loyalty energy, wants to cook for you, wants to send you money from her little from her little when she from her little when she notices you are low on cash. You know all those things that shows okay, now person be this, not some selfish do for me more uh, more fucker. 
I it was easy for as hell to reciprocate those loving acts because between ourselves, I gave her stuff, myself and my time easily. She did the same too. She gets all my jokes. She's willing to learn new stuff. She's happy to be corrected and argues a point when she has to. Our love languages complemented each other. See, hold on. This love languages thing that you guys just... So you go, you go propaganda. You go propaganda. Our grandfathers did not have love language. Can you take care of a woman? Finish. Simple as that. One day I just saw this thing on the on the internet and from there it just took off. My love language, my love, love language. language. Is... Oh, this right the one, the one I hate the most is intentional man. <laughs> Bro, I hate, it my, I hate it with my soul. Uh, I think they just but have I've a seen, I've, seen, I've seen it, I've experienced it that the women the girls who women who 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 talk about this thing a lot. I love romance. I love to be I love romantic men. They are nowhere close to romantic. They are not. Too. They are nowhere close to intentional. Nothing. It's just, just only, you know, princesses. What, what they call them? Passenger go. princesses. Yeah. You don't understand. All right, let's go. Let's what go, is let's the go. passenger princess, please? Passenger princess is that fine girl that stay at the passenger side of your car while you are driving, hustling, selling your son and everything. So you just be sitting there, pretty, enjoying AC, doing nothing. Passenger princess. Pee-pee. The passenger princess. Hey. Okay. Anyways, our love languages complemented each other so well. She just gets me, you get. To the point, she convinced me that uh, she convinced me to have her phone password, which I refuted the first few times. But she later told me I asked her if she wants to have mine too. She said no. See me they do equality. Chai, mess up. All this now just two months in. So I don't know if you're catching the drift as to why I said this girl was very easy to love. But who knows, Sha? Could be a game for her. Because I heard that I give off husband material vibes. I say, I say, I say, I say. I should brag small. I say I should brag small. I dare say I was brought up well in a morally sane home. Now only my sexual desires, they mess me up. Bible will say the sin that easily besets you. Uh-huh. But I digress. Even with all that, I don't easily love. I normally love with my eyes, with my eye, with one eye open. But for her, I dove head straight, still with one eye open, as always. The other red flags aside from her wildness, which mine crossed out in my head was when she showed support for her brother's yahoo hustle and she didn't see any issues with that at all i tried to talk about it but i just chill make it no be like say nami holy pass fast forward to a week ago we took pictures on our phone afterwards i was looking at the pictures so i was scrolling and saw a screenshot of a chat between her and an unknown number saying stuff like how many rounds how much so i knew what was up the girl we had the is you sleep with unprotected and with all my might in a hooker. I'm fairly I'm a fairly confident guy and wouldn't look through a lady's phone when I needed to be sure. So I went through her chat and saw a number of requests and sex bargains going on. Bonus points for her. She's very cordial with her customers. So I can't wonder if I be customer too. I beg you have to pause it. Let me laugh. Sorry please I need to laugh. <laughs> God, um, Lucy, can continue now. I beg, thank you. I just had to laugh. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for the laugh. Sorry for the laugh, please. I didn't say Jack. Kept my cool for the whole period till when she left. Couldn't knock that night because Chama no grease stand for obvious reasons. I was disappointed, but I didn't force. I went for tests. I was lucky. Till now, I haven't told her. I'm still planning on what to do about it. So here's my question. Please forgive my turn of shalai. I started making excuses for her in my head. Chill. I thought in my mind, her good parts supersede her bad parts. I thought again, she probably just needed money. But truly, the week before she asked if I could help her with her dough, and I was able to do one third of the amount, she'd been out of a job, and I know she clearly needs money for something. I just no get 
to spare the I, I just didn't have to spare at the time but this um but was this enough reason and so went my excuses for her i also thought for myself i've also reasoned looking for sugar mummies in the past when i was broke even in recent times so am i any better on and on i went because truly she's a great person actually i think she fits into the mold of an anti-hero as i've heard you guys mention here so i want to snap out of these thoughts and listen to clear unbiased by affection reason from you guys tell you the truth you three OGs have become a voice of reason in my head and i go like here on a view for my dilemma chances say i go end up with her no day uh, chances no say like that. i go end up with her no be like that cause omo but i kid you not when i say the girl na human being and she has love in her heart maybe two months was too short the time for uh, to truly determine that but really i think she's all that please advise me yours confusedly anonymous 26 steve um i don't know where i from start though um I like how you started with pg <laughs> you don't but how i am you know you don't read uh, you don't read you you won't be the first and you'll be the last to to fall in love with um the lady of the night according to her <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't. What do you? I, I would have. I would have. Me like my opinion would have been greatly influenced with how old you are and how much experience that you have. If you are still young, uh, no man, it's, it's normal now. It's normal. It's it's normal. Street today. It's if you just street, it's it's still in the street, you understand? It's yeah, normal. yeah. It's normal. This is normal. It's not a big deal. It's normal. Thank God, so you even know people they marry the people they marry first before they know. Probably they marry with you. I'm not gonna know. Ah, it's not a problem now. There's no issue here. <laughs> don't you don't understand? No, I know someone who got married. You know his issue. Two it's months issue later, and, and saw a sex tape. You can fall out of love too now. <laughs> Wait, you saw a sex tape? What? Yeah. You got married and yes, saw I a sex tape. I know somebody who got married two months later. He saw a sex tape of his wife, like what the wife was to used to do back in the days. Yeah, he saw it on the internet. Randomly, not be wow. the person send and give up. It was just randomly saw it. So it things happen. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Things happen. Things happen. It cost, it cost you know, you it. It. My brother, there's no, there's, my brother. Everything you mentioned here, there's no tragedy here. It's just a normal, like not. There's not, no nope, nothing bad has happened, except uh, the only thing that you said. You said you went to do tests. Some of all these uh, STI, they get maturity. So let's move on. So I was saying, it take time with a buffer. It take time with a buffer. <laughs> so my guy just go down another three months, six months. Yeah, just, just, like, just wait for another next twelve year. weeks. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Before you, before you know, say before you don't care. Just, I'm mm-hmm. just joking by the way. But there's no bro. There's nothing here. There's not. You want to? You you are you. The advice you are seeking for is either whether to leave her or not. That that depends on you. But I'm saying what has happened to you. It's not a new thing. It's normal. It's normal, you know. So there's nothing to worry about. You can if if you don't want to go ahead with the relationship because of our of what she does, you can fall out of love. It's very simple. Then move on into life and go and fall in love with another person. Don't be then not be fights. You know what I'm saying? When I do blood oath, I don't do now, my brother. Right now, to the next. Thank thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> I think the only thing this gentleman. And I will come to you. I think the only thing this gentleman, what may I see, you know, why you should hurt or why you should feel some type of way is just the betrayal. That's all. Yeah. You know, that's all. And if if you knew beforehand, you would have known if you wanted to. What's the betrayal here, Sagi? I think the betrayal here is not putting all your cards on the table. Guess what? Mm. I feel that this young as man. What? This as what? As boyfriend, as boyfriend and girlfriend. As what, actually? No, no. See, you they do, you know, multiple men the collaba. Yeah. Suppose young me now. I feel like if you are told, now and that's true. That's true. That's true. That's see, that's this is how me I get down, no. But me I like that's you. True. If you be told him, ah, me I get down X Y Z way. But me I like you. Do you still like me? I feel the guy would have still liked her, anyways. 
because they get along they share similar experiences etc etc right so i feel like that's like just the betrayal part where she didn't yeah. tell him and I, I my, advice I is, my advice is and it's not that deep to be honest again young man i don't know how old you are but see life is still life is life is still ready to throw a lot of curve, curve balls at you i'm telling Digger you ones. this one has small thing we cannot lie you a small thing so i think you should also have a conversation with her and ask her and if she opens up to you to tell you well this is how i get down no? it's not up to you to make the decision and to know how you want to move ahead but again this will now inform your decisions of how you want to build your future what you want to do xyz and xyz and you can never you know tell she might just be willing to change yeah. Well, I won't even say change because it's not like she changed in the first place or what she's doing is, you know, move all this morality aside and everything, right? I won't even say she know the key person. She know key person now. <laughs> she know key person. Yes, that is, you know? is, uh, is she's doing she's she's in fast, and See, it's not a bad thing. She's hustling, just yeah, like every other yeah. person is hustling. She so she sleeps with people to collect money to do. My brother. Yeah, she's into she's 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 into SaaS. She's into like you know sex as a service. That's SaaS, that's a SaaS product. Oh, that's know? that's so it's that's not a, <laughs> good. I'm done. It's not a big deal. Sex yeah. as a service. SaaS. That's the name of this episode. S A A S A S. SaaS. Sex as a SaaS. SaaS business. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I want an assess now because our <laughs> market, if, because the market is bad in the fintech yeah. space. The market, bad, the, market is, the market is crushing everybody. Yeah. So many yeah. people just need to start selling software globally. Yeah. But to sell software <laughs> globally, right? Yeah, to bring in dollar. To even have an IFS challenge. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the, 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 the building SaaS products right now is also global. It's oh also God, crazy yeah. because it's the standard crazy, is very right? high. You want to compete with a company in America. And what you are producing is not even unique. Yeah. Okay, you now say, okay, let me do SaaS for Africa. How many B2C Africans will pay I mean, to yeah, I mean, service for you? Yeah. The business is hard, my guy. The card will just the cut. <laughs> Anyways, back to this gentleman's dilemma. So, bro, it's quite simple. You now know what is going on. Don't be in your feelings about it. Put, your, put yourself in that person's shoes, too. Don't be right. emotional about it. Do you know, it. Don't, don't, be, don't be, be emotional. emotional. She's also a young person trying to move further in this life, trying to earn money, trying to do a lot of things. So take out that, you know, take off your morality hat where you feel you want to start judging now of, oh, you did this and do that and do this. I think the only thing you should be in your feelings for is you should have just told me everything about you. And you need to also ask yourself, have you told everything? Have you told everything about you as well? If you, if you did and both of you agreed to tell each other you know your background or what you guys are up to and then she left that out that's some sort of betrayal i get it that's my only point but beyond that please have a conversation with her and see where she you know you guys can take your relationship to if you want to further it fine if you don't want to further it fine but like you said you like the girl mm. i over to you um i think you know life is the greatest teacher and i think uh the reason why this happened to you is that life wanted to tell you that don't fall in love easily. Because I don't know why, you know, you be a small bobby you touch for cinema like this. You don't you don't see ring. You don't see wedding bells. It doesn't happen like that. So this is a lesson for Two you. Months. Two months in. You can't, bro, my guy. You cannot even... Um, yeah, you can't afford to fall in love out there. Especially if you know what the the singles or relationship market is like in Lagos. I believe... We are in Lagos anyway. Um, so it's good that like, you learned this lesson very early on. We don't know your I hope, age. I hope, I hope Bobby Nax make this guy fall in love. Nah, Nax, no. Nah. You don't know Kuko before. What do you mean? <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> it's, see, remove nah, your heart nah, away nah, from nah, your balls. Yeah. Separate your heart away from your <laughs> balls or else you enter this problem again. And to be worse, <laughs> this will be a problem person that you're not able to even track her phone or anything at all like that. <laughs> so just thank your God that this bullet you took it and you're wise now. This thing you are saying that you are feeling emotion, fuck that emotion. It's not emotion. Let me tell you, it's just an ego telling. And then they kill all that shit. Um, me personally, I'll tell you to move on because 
I don't know, but you know, Sage is a man of yeah, I won't say that. I, mean, I won't say that though. If you we have a man you, of reconciliation, do you see have enough Thank ego? You if, you have, if you have enough ego and then you are emotionally very matured Steve. to further your relationship with someone for with a lady of the night, yes, sir. You, can, yes, sir. you can go and do it now. Yes, me, I'm not sure. I know, me, I can't do it. But me, I can't carry that body. Jesus, is the Lord fragile. knows. The Lord knows I my cannot ego, carry that body. My ego is very fragile, but you can. And our guy can be very, very, very emotionally. You know, my guy has his guy. in place and does not have a lot of ego. The man, so I think the man with the biggest ego in the world, <laughs> Kanye West. <laughs> we all know how he felt when ordinary. <laughs> you just hear a line, imaginary line about his wife. You will lose it. <laughs> it is not a cross that anybody can carry. My guy. Is, say your duties. I won't say that it's not it's not it's not an easy cross to carry. I know that there are strong men, you know. No, there are men though, because is, you know some of these ladies in these professions end up getting married and they are in successful marriages, yeah. at least for yeah, what I true. know. I don't yeah, know the, yeah, whether there's full disclosure or semi-disclosure, but at the end of the day, then so yeah, maybe you are in that grace. I have, but uh, yeah, yeah, that line yeah. of grace. But my guy, you fall in love too easily, my guy. You have to have your heart of stone. This woman now here will eat you raw. I'm telling you, have your heart of stone. Yeah. That's my own advice. All right, good. This is the song we've been waiting for. To come <laughs> with heart of stone. That's such an old school song. Oh, man. And that's oh, this guy falling in love. Oh, but this dating scene is wild, though. Go to oh, Mario this dating scene is wild, though. It's wild, though. <laughs> shout out to you, shout out to nice you guys. Song. I retired a long time ago. Bro, I'm tired. Guys, <laughs> this guy you can't even say you're going to church again to go and find beep. You can't even say you're going to church to go and find beep anymore. This guy fell in love in less than one school term. Yes. <laughs> one school term is three months. You fell it's in three love. Three months. This guy fell in love they, in two. They are just writing tests. <laughs> you don't fall in love. Do you understand? Don't they make me fall in love. They are just writing. Uh, mis- they are just going for mid term. You falling in love. Yeah. Mid term. <laughs> hey guy, don't try this nonsense again in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you now. Don't ever try this nonsense again in your life. You, you, have, you have to have a lot of. You have to have a lot of respect What's for yourself. What's wrong with you? The, yeah, man. What, what's to, wrong with you? To, you deserve, what, what, you deserve better. Huh? What's wrong with you now? Can you just fall in love like that? <laughs> you, you didn't fall in love. That thing is not love. What is worrying? You are still in the infatuation stage. It's infatuation as well. Six weeks now. Nanax. 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 Guess what? The girl gave him the pin the passcode to her phone yeah that's player level though. like what you gonna do what are you <laughs> going to do she was the realest she was did the they walk the guy did they walk did they the walk this guy they are positioning him for <laughs> if she had something to hide she wouldn't have given him the passcode to her phone yeah, yeah. So I think she was just she's just keeping it real. Well, go and have a conversation with the lady. The lady is just going to tell you how it is, and she likes you. Simple. Keep it real. Anyways, I think uh, hopefully we've been able to guide you <laughs> towards the right path. And uh, I, I wish you all the best. And I pray that uh, at least this car. See, I love character building. I say it all the time. My daughter was riding a bike on, you know, one time and, and fell, boom. And, you know, she was crying. Not uh, she was crying and everywhere was where I'm like, no, this real character. Next time she gets on the bike, she's going to be, you know, more careful. She's going to... And she's not going to be afraid anymore. And guess what? She wasn't. So, you need, you need things like this. It's good for you. You know, it shouldn't also make you a monster where you go and start playing other girls and that's not what it, this is the whole thing is about. But it's more around understanding how relationships work. It's more around guiding your heart. And like Ayo said, it's more around separating your your testicles 
from your heart. I don't know how they yeah. they, they, they were joined together anyways because they're very far from each other. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, as I get, you wish I'm based. You go, jo- you could join like twins. Mm. You could join twins. Mm. Your testicle mm. and your heart is crazy, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. That's your a crazy connection. Your together is crazy. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a venal, is a venal connection. We we'll have to there's confirm from the, doctors. There's a straight vein from the heart to the balls. That's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the human body. Oh my god. Alright, let's talk about this FX crisis in Nigeria, man. What's going on, Steve? Ah, now you are going to ask now. My my fintech or guy. Now you carry me enter fintech now. Now you now you know. <laughs> now you carry you enter cult. <laughs> we don't have dollar oh, now. We don't get dollar. <laughs> All the oh cult members God. gonna die. You call this all the time. You carry me enter this cult. So oh, but that's his worst time. You know that's the worst time in any Nigerian movie for you to enter cult. Can I help? Can I introduce you to cult? The three weeks later, everybody's dying. <laughs> I never will have one. I never will die. <laughs> this but is what you told me. Have, have you seen that clip of when they they they, they initially initiated him? And they were telling Ooh. him what the sacrifice can I, can I like is a, a yeah. clip on Twitter. I've never seen the movie, but I've seen the clip. And yeah. they said he, I think he, do, he will give us a member of his family. And mm. I said just that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Oh, I can even add my mother and my my child. <laughs> I think I think Charles Okafor was there or somebody. You're not sure Charles Okafor was there. So <laughs> everybody in the contest will look at him and say, Who be this weary? <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, is ready. Mm. Oh, uh-huh. So if you if you're uh-huh. not aware, if you've been living under a rock, the naira has been depreciating. The naira compared to the dollar has been depreciating in the last few weeks at a very uh-huh. fast pace. And I think it's currently sitting at in the parallel market, by the way. It's currently sitting at uh the dollar is currently worth 1,120 naira. Yeah. Now, this is... This is an all-time level. It's, it's unheard of. This, this, this is what you call ATH. That reached an all-time high. It has never been like this before. This is an all-time high. Mm-hmm. And we are you know, um, reaching new all-time highs. Or lows. Or lows, though. No, all time. I mean, the dollar compared to the dollar is the, okay. The depreciation level is at an all time high, and we're reaching all time high levels every twenty four hours. So every other every other day or every day, right? The naira is is you know consistent or continually depreciating. It's not even waiting for a week now. It's like literally every day there's a new price. There's a new price yeah. by Monday. There will be a new price. And that's because the demand for the dollar is at an all-time high as well. Um, I think the CBN has further. Um, I think the 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 pegged the repegged the bank rate as well, and it, I think it has gone up to eight forty. But eight forty mm, compared okay. to one thousand and one thousand one hundred twenty is still it's still far. It's still, it's still, you know, the the difference is still very much. And so, it means that, you know, as much as people want to go to the bank to go and, you know, buy dollar there, you know, for whatever purpose, black market still remains where almost everybody is going to. Yeah. Um, this is very worrying for every Nigerian because 90% of what we consume is imported. It means mm-hmm. that you need to buy use dollars to buy everything that we are consuming. So just think about everything you're consuming from clothing to food to almost everything to ingredients, you know, everything is being imported. And so we need dollars to buy these things. Down to so even matches match boxes to yes. pick no, we import yes, them. Pick match boxes, yes. As, you know, simple things like that. And then we are not producing enough locally for us to depend on local substitutes the local substitutes that do exist are you know the quality 
it's not good enough for uh, people to consume. Yeah. So there's that. Also, because we're not producing locally, it means we're not exporting enough. And if you're not exporting enough, it means, you know, people are not paying you in dollars to, like, imp- you know, ex- import what you're exporting or acquire what you're exporting. Mm-hmm. So these and a few other things have now led to the depreciation of the Naira. How does it affect the layman like you? Every time the Naira is, the inflation happens and the Naira depreciates against the dollar, the value of your Naira starts to depreciate as well. I'll give you an example. If you earn 500,000 Naira, if you earned 500,000 Naira in 2020, where the value of a dollar to the Naira was 360 Naira, and you, in two years' time, which was like 2022, the value of the Naira had gone to about 600 and 700 and something, or even early 2023, had gone to like 720. It means that if the value of the dollar had doubled, you know, against the Naira, it means that your your earning power or the value of your Naira had just been slashed into two. So you're still yeah. earning the same 500 Naira, but against the dollar, it's now half. So your 500,000 Naira in 2020, when it was 360, right? So that's 500,000 divided by 360. The 500,000 was 1,388 Naira, or 1,389 Naira approximately. Now, if you then take that same 500 Naira, 500,000 Naira, right? And yeah. divide it by, hold on, and divide it by, 720 the value of your naira so before in 2020 the value of your 500,000 naira was 1389 now mm-hmm. the value of that your same 500,000 naira is 694 dollars disappeared and that's just you know calculating it at 720 now if you calculate it at 1120 I beg. Let's do it. Let's just. Like, this is it's very demoralizing, but we have to do it. So that five hundred thousand naira you were earning three years ago, divided by one one two zero, shit, is now four hundred and something dollars. <laughs> so essentially, your five hundred thousand naira. That you were earning three years ago is now the value of it is now one third of it, the mm-hmm. same five hundred thousand naira. Um, a lot of people don't see these things, right? Because of course the earning naira and everything they transact in most of the time is in naira, it's a naira, right? So they don't understand how the value of their money is depreciating. But I think you, it would it would do you very it, it would do you good if you try to, um, start understanding how basic economics works or finance 101 works this is like the basics you don't need it you don't you don't need you know you don't need to be a scholar this is just how like the basics right because you are consuming everything but purchased in dollars it means you are basically in a dollar market you are just with a currency that is in dollar but basically you're buying using everything to buy dollars so just be converting your naira to dollar to see what the value is now the effect of this thing is 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 going to be very very serious right um and you can think about it for people who want to relocate for anybody who wants to consume anything that will be purchased in dollars dollars. becomes the problem yeah it can be as basic as your your gmail account which you used to pay six dollars for back in you know whatever time Mm-hmm. And you have to pay six dollars every month. Now that six dollars before you, all you needed to do was, you know, multiply six times three sixty back in twenty twenty. Yeah. Right? And that's like, oh, I, you know, one thousand nine hundred or something, right? Now that six dollars 
that you used to pay 1,000 naira or something, you now have to multiply that six dollars times 1,120. Madness. And so that's already looking at some 7,000. So you started yeah, paying for your yeah. Gmail every month for 1,000 something to 7,000 something. Mm -hmm. Now imagine companies in Nigeria that trade and charge people in Naira, right? Having to pay for Gmail um, enterprise for staff. And yeah. the staff strength is like it's 50. So that's like 7,000 Naira times 50. Hmm. So a lot of people, um, you know, purchase and use products that they that they have to purchase in dollars. For example, where we host Blue Stock, right? The platform, it's it's you know we are charging dollars, and we pay an annual subscription fee, right? <laughs> and uh, you know we we had to renew recently. And I was looking at the cost and I was like, my goodness, this is mad. This is mad, mad thing, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and so on and so forth. Now, how does this concern you as a Nigerian? The first thing you have to think about, and again, this is not, uh, please, how do, what's that disclaimer? Do not consider this as a... It's not a financial advice. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to tell you to go and you know, do nonsense with your money. I think the best thing to do to um to at least to save yourself from the depreciation is to save your money in a currency that when this depreciation of the Naira happens, it really affects you. Now, you're still getting paid in Naira, so boohoo, it's still a problem. But at least you can save some arbitrage during the time where, especially with like the value of what you have already saved, during the time where the Naira continues to fall, right? So you either buy dollars or save your money in dollars. Now, how can you do this? There's a simple platform like RiseVest that you can convert your Naira to dollars and save it there. The only thing is that when you want to redraw, they return it back to Naira. It's not a bad thing, but at least you'll have saved yourself, you know, um, some money when the Naira depreciated. How can we get the Naira back up? <coughs> million think, dollar question. It's a million dollar question, but I think it's quite simple, right? The moment you start to export local goods, right, the value of your Naira then becomes stronger. But to get to that point, I don't know. I think that's the toughest thing. Food inflation is the worst, by the way. 30%. Oh, yeah, there were reports earlier in the week about... Yeah, I saw, I saw the stats from MBS or whatever it is. Yeah, 31%. Huh. 30 to 31% it's so, food inflation. It's so sad yeah. because um, we, are, we are bearing the cost. We are suffering mm -hmm. because of like I'm talking about, we like millennials, um, young adults who are just started, you know, who just start earning, get, get to get any power, right? Oh we we are suffering from years of recklessness, years of bad governance, and we are the one that's been hurt the most. Yeah. Um, my parents never had to, you know, to walk through this sort of narrow devil like your currency, what you're working for. The fruits of your labor losing relevance every every month and every day. And now it's every day. Yeah. It, it didn't leave it with this rate. So like we are, we are suffering. And it's so sad mm -hmm. thinking about young Nigerians, thinking about guys like myself, right? Like you guys, our age, our age mates, right? People who are really struggling. Because one thing about Nigerians, we are so hardworking. You know, just look at what people are doing. People are doing amazing stuff. People are just striving to do, to just do stuff, to just live, you know, be productive in, in spite of the harsh conditions that they see themselves in Nigeria and um, people are not reaping the equivalent, you know, um, reward. It's, that's what saddens me. Like you have money, so just imagine someone who has worked in the past five years and has saved maybe 10 million naira and said, oh, you know what, let me do what normal people do and just put it maybe in a money market or in a bank and just move on. You are gradually <laughs> sitting down there and your life savings is just 
losing value every year. Like yep. it's insane. Like no, like this is not. This is insane. It's just. It's you know insane. where I feel for the most. Who? Oh. The people who have maybe like one or two years left to receive their pension. Oh, yeah. that's nasty. Yeah. Imagine if you have two years left. Imagine if you're like forty-eight, right? So you receive your pension. I think at fifty. Imagine if you're like forty-eight or forty-nine. And the lamb moves from 400 to 1,000 in two years. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Like your pension has been has been eroded by for almost 40%. And you have At like this rate idea. now, it's blessed. Like only, only the trash card will use and I won't buy you. <laughs> <laughs> At this rate. Yes, no. I only check my pension once a year. I just remember, like, oh, there's a oh, pension deal. Because if it's not in my bank, come on. If it's not in my dollar account, I don't do anything. I'm sorry. Hmm. You know the crazy thing about the pension? Mm-hmm. The crazy thing about the pension is that when you now get to that age, you know you don't get mm. everything. They start paying you the money monthly. And uh, yes, now you can't take everything now. You can't put all that money back in the yeah, system now. You mon- monthly now. They know you people now. You people can play the bet. Sure or two say. Who sure or that? Which one talk up? Oh God. People are gambling, man. Bro, Bro, people are looking for money. They're on the but paper chase anywhere it's, now. That's another sign of a, a, a declining economy, like a weakening economy. The economy. Like, when when, poverty uh, when is gambling right. is too high, yeah. Alcohol and gambling. The two things yeah. are one, people the, the, the rate of gambling goes up. So mm-hmm. yeah. alcohol consumption. People yeah. drink, yeah. Boy, boy, yeah. guy, yeah. as they say that Nigeria we are broke. Go to every lounge. Where Men is that balloons on like screen? Or am I the only person seeing it? And he's maybe not in bed day. Yeah. I don't know. No, I think no, I think my Mac does this thing where if I do like signs. Uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. See, okay, we okay, not okay. get this guy kind of Mac. Nobody's kind of Mac. We get to. Because <laughs> me, I do sign. Nothing do. Nothing do. The same Mac. I was like, you know, just twenty twenty two. I've been at twenty. My own, um, my own, are like nineteen ninety two also. Google means same thing. Bro, there's no. <laughs> your Mac cannot from ninety two cannot do this. Don't don't lie. <laughs> 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 your Mac from ninety two cannot do this. I beg. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. We get it now. Stop showing off. Uh-uh. Yeah. You don't go do an iron and then they hang. Oh, um, uh, my brother. So, Let's do That's all we see, I'm on. That's all we see, I'm on. You know what's painful? Like, we're talking about, like, hardworking people. And yeah. you, you're, just, you're just unlucky to be domiciled in this region of the world. Yeah. For the Republic. Yeah, you're yeah, in another region of the world with the same hard work. You've bought a house. Yeah, easily now. Easily now. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah? You know. It's like in Nigeria, you have to work three or four times harder than every other person yeah. around in the world. Look at, look at what our parents achieved at the age of 30, 30. Like, look at what our parents achieved in the early 30s. Bro, they were buying brand new and cars, then, tear rubber. Bro, in the early 40s. Who born you when you come by? Hey, oh, now. Man. Who born you when I may go buy tear rubber? Finally, we're having four kids. Five yes, kids. no. Yeah, I swear. I swear on God. Five. Bro, let me tell you something. By <laughs> age 31, you already have, you bought your house by age 31. Everything is good. You're going to have like five kids now. That's true. You're going to have true. like four kids. Because even your wife like, hey, hey, let's, let's bring in more. Let's have a big family. And that generation, they like, that, that generation, they like house, eh? Oh my god, come on, last penny. <laughs> that was the Nigerian dream then. Now you have your house. <laughs> it's, that was the Nigerian dream, I swear. Yeah, your wife has a car. I, I, you have I, I think car. It's, it's still it's still the Nigerian dream because I remember people losing their shits on Twitter that Israel Israel does, does not have a house after saying it was um unbelievably liquid. I just could not believe it that that guy does not own a home. They, um, but, they didn't believe it. It's, it's educational. It's just jarring to them because they've not been yeah. raised. Yeah. It's something yeah. new they are here. Mm-hmm. It's true. Like I was saying, right? I've met a lot of educated people, enlightened people. Who still make that same mistake? And, you know, it's taking me a very long time to understand that. You might be very educated or enlightened, but you don't understand finances. Yeah. Yeah. You, you you just don't know it. I you know, I know of somebody who just purchased a house in, in Lagos for two hundred and something million. 
and you're just like, you sank 200 and something million naira into a house. Right yeah, but no. that's, not a, that's not a wise financial decision. I'm sorry. But is, is it a house that you stay in, though, right? Yes, yeah, the house is living in. Yeah, it's it's that's, that's even better. That's even better. People do this and put it on. And for, people do, it, do this thing in Lagos for rentals. And I'm like, you are mad. <laughs> <laughs> Plain mad. You know, you know? And, and for living, I can, for living, I can see some cases. I can see some sense to it. But you see that rental own. <laughs> my brother, oh my God. My brother, two hundred million naira. I'm putting. That how, that's how much in dollars? Two. That's two. That's two million dollars now. Two hundred million naira cannot be two million dollars. Sorry, my math is bad. I'm sorry, my math is bad. That's two hundred k. Let's pull out the calculator. It's not that's two hundred k. Sorry. I know pass jam. No, no, forgive me. I did not pass jam. No, it's fine. Two hundred million divided by one thousand one hundred and twenty. That's about one hundred seventy-eight thousand. Jesus Christ. That's why you have to leave um, science class in SS2. That's why, you see, that's why I have to leave science class, bro, because um, the mass wasn't massing anymore. They now say me I can't do further mass. Me I can't do further so mass. It's really possible. If, so one hundred seventy-eight thousand. 178,500 something like like right mm-hmm. if i put that in a fixed deposit to get 10 percent per annum it means i get about 17,800 every year dollars every year but maybe this guy already has fixed deposits you don't know and this is just la la money that he just wants to spend i just wonder i just wonder yeah. devil's advocate devil's advocate Wait, wait, so the $17,000 now, let's multiply it by the 1,120, right? To get it back in there. 1,120. That's 20 million naira, right? Because you're doing a mm-hmm. 10% down. You converted it to dollars, you're doing a 10% down. So in 20 million naira, I believe you can pay for your, your rent. You can, you, can do, you can have your house for 20 million naira, man. Right? And that depends on the location, man. No, say you want to stay in a very nice place with twenty million naira, you can pay for your rent easily. Oh, yeah, I see. Even if you want to stay in Ikoyi, yeah, you can get a place. That was high brow. That was very high brow. Do you understand? Then the remaining ten million naira, you can know what to do. And I, think just, I think it's just. I think it's just a cultural. I think it's just a cultural code, cultural code thing. Like you know, even coming back from the traditional era where you know, a man's wealth, you know. Was in his houses and you must always pass down legacy. So when they say, ah, he died, they don't want to come and share the wheel. You can't be saying they don't want to come and share rent, rented apartments. Nah. It's not possible now. Nah. You must have house you ought to share now. Nah. Even if you're a poor man, oh. you must have house you ought to share. So we we still wound it back to the bridge concept where yes, you, must, you must see what you are doing. Yes, you must see it. You uh-uh. tangible. So you now come, you now start bringing paper. Uh, there's one treasure boy. No, that's not sexy now. Nah. There's no fight to that one now. Nah. One house, one car, one land. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame, man. Yeah. Well, anyway. All right. On to sorry before you news. before you go ahead. I want to just to summarize this um Nara stuff. Pastor Ashimolo said in 1978 he he spent 670 Nara to purchase one thousand dollars. Take that as you mean. Damn. 670 Nara. To buy one thousand dollars. Damn. God is good. God is good all the time. All the time. All the time. All right. Then you. Uh, then in, in the midst of all this, you see, you see someone on Twitter going to say he was bl- he's blaming the middle class for it, <laughs> and I'm like, it's always the middle class. They blame. It's always the middle class. They can't be the poor guy oh, now. No. I don't want to go into like, that's you... why I, I, I just avoided all of that. Yeah, so. I, I, I understand. Let's let's move on to like you know some yeah, other things. Move. Yeah, so let's move on to something lighter, but not really lighter. I think darker, <laughs> or maybe equally dark. Oh God! Smith, <laughs> not oh. as life threatening. Not as life threatening. Not as life. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, yeah. I mean, in the midst of this thing, somebody <laughs> got shot and died. So when we got shot and died, the one almost died of sickness. So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. well, um, we didn't lose any. Well, to be fair, in the whole thing, we didn't lose anybody. We just lost some hair. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, so this Will Smith and Jada Pink Smith thing, I think she's releasing a book. Um, so she's been on a press tour. Um, on yeah. the press tour, she has, you know, revealed quite some interesting stories and takes and information. I think the big one... I think the initial, revelation, the initial revelation has been from the book, which has prompted some of the questions. Yes, yes. I think mm. the initial revelation, or one of the biggest, is that she and Will Smith have been separated for about seven years. That's yeah. Biggest, yeah. Uh, revelations. Mm. Then others yeah. like, you know, Tupac proposed to her, um, and a couple of other things. And yeah. of course, Black Twitter has been on the role. This whole, yeah. This whole thing. Um, I think my whole thing around it is I'm just gonna mind my business because I don't know. Same. It's hard to mind your business because every four tweets, this woman makes a new revelation. She told us that Tupac yeah, has yeah. the same hair condition with her. Tupac died with that secret. You could not even honor the man's legacy. You didn't have to go and tell us that the man had a problem too. <laughs> oh, God. I never seen this kind of woman before. I'm not buying that Tupac had alopecia. I'm not oh, of course, I'm not buying that shit. The poor man can't defend himself. You're not coming and tell us yeah. that. How are we sure that he proposed to you? How are we sure? Jada. Where the witness is there. I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't trust I don't trust that woman. I don't trust that woman. For me, right? Where I think, you know, I, I, I this personal personal, I think there's some sort of insincerity to everything because you're dropping a book. Mm-hmm. You know? So you're on a press tour and then you have to create some sort of buzz. Yeah. She said this on a, a you know, an interview. With, uh, what's the name of that guy that does interviews? That former CEO. Um, what's his name? Steven. Steven. Steven Bartlett. Yeah, but she's on it now. She's on it. She was on it last week, Monday. Uh, I, I said, hmm. oh. I said, the woman is thirsty for clouds. Yeah. Did you was it on Monday? She was there on Monday. But she's not been on. She's not been on Lex Friedman's podcast. No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I've seen her there. Those are the podcasts. See, if people want to listen to podcasts, after you listen to Loose Talk, by the way, Stephen Bartlett's podcast is good. Diary of a CEO is good. But Lex Friedman, oh my God. Now, nah, that's a podcast. The guy does some really good interviews. Then, of course, there's Joe Rogan, whose interviews are amazing. Anyways, so, yeah, if there was one podcast she did because she just came on the podcast, and she wasn't selling a book or re- releasing a book or whatever or a memo or whatever. And they were just having a conversation and within the conversation she 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 said those things. That would have been great. That would I would have believed that more than you're on a press tour because you just released the book and you're trying to sell a book and then you're dropping all these bombs here and there. I'm not saying it's not true, it can also be true. But for me, you know, I'm just gonna side eye it a bit because I feel like they're using those things to promote the book. Which can, yeah. Again, it can be true. But again, I I don't believe it hundred percent. So that's just my own take on the whole thing. And Will Smith, hey man, people have, dunked, people have really dunked on Will Smith. This, you know, I just wish him strength. Because yeah, it's not so. does he want strength? At this point, does he want strength? Let's ask ourselves that. I think he has this fetish of being a a dog that they like beating. Does he want strength? Because, bro, you are with me. You can just say, bye-bye, I'm not doing it again. But this stuff is saying, uh, she's my best friend. I'll be with her forever. I'm like, bro. What if he loves her? There's no difference between Will Smith and that guy that sent us uh, Axe the Giant. So at the end, they're the same boots. <laughs> one is just richer than the other. One more, one famous. There's no point. At this point, there's no point. There's no difference again. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Steve has slept. Steve is sleeping. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm not sleeping. Good, at least I'm not, good, good man. Not, 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 I'm not the one sleeping on the podcast this time. God bless. I wasn't actually sleeping. Something happened, but I wasn't sleeping. Okay, oh, okay. great. Yeah. So, yeah. for me, you know, I, I can't, I can't really judge. I don't know what's going on. I don't know the inner dynamics of a relationship. What we know is what we've been told. So it's hard to make it. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to make any comments on the, apart from like the trolls and the joke, the, the you know, joke like you know, that we make with with Smith and yeah. Jada. But on a serious note, bro, it's marriage, Jerry. It's not. It's like you can't comment on it. It's, 
see, let me tell you, many marriages are separated. They just live in the same building, in the same house. And like, it's just, they'll sort themselves out. Yeah. Um, whatever they are doing is just between both of them. The sort of partnership that they have. I, I kind of, I kind of knew this when we Smith, you know, we Smith three, four years ago, he, and Jada, they used to come up with something about we'll never, we'll never divorce. We're in this partnership for life, no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. So they used to hint it, and I knew that this is something that could happen. That even when the marriage, even when they're, they're not like like intimate anymore, they will still be in a sort of mm -hmm. partnership, just because of maybe the love or the friendship or whatever they have with each other. You know, so I don't. Um, it's marriage. It's, it's hard to comment on what married people are doing because man. That shit is not easy. Yeah, so it's not cool. I, and every yeah, marriage, every them. marriage is unique. Every marriage is unique. Every single one of them. So and has its own yeah. dynamics. You know, understand. So, so that is their own dynamic, and it, I hope it's working for them. For marriage advice, relationship <laughs> advice. Hmm. I keep it as simple as possible. I don't go into the basics. I don't go into sorry, not the basics. I don't go into the nitty gritty. I just uh, ask the person, give me the basics of what the problem is. And then I just apply that same thing back to them. Say, you know, what do you think? How do you feel? How does this person feel? And then take it off from there. There's a way I, I do it. And it, it sort of helps them and gives them clarity. But that you want to go into the nitty gritty of it and say, no, this person should act like this. This person should behave like that. You are wasting your time. Hmm. True. Uh, is this, uh, is this not a waste of time? Yeah. Yes, a total waste of time, you know. Yeah. That's my own thing. And they both know they're celebrities, both of them. They know what they've signed up for. They know that their life is entertainment. So they're just going to feed us with entertainment, sell their books. With Smith's had his own book like two years ago. Now Jada is with... They just, you know, they used to... These people used to do the Red Table... The Red Tupac Table... Have where they, book. Red Table have talk, where they bring their own... You know, they, they sit all of them down. This... After the entanglement thing, they went on air and talked about it. You just know these people with like content, that like content machine. You know, understand? So, well, they know what they are doing. Hopefully, um, hopefully they figure it out. Whatever, whatever it is that they are doing. Shout out to them. Yeah, and leave us yeah. out of it. And leave us out of it. That's just all I ask for. Leave us out of it, because we don't tire. That Jaden, that that Jaden will love. There's a clip where Jaco was performed recently and he skipped that line. Yeah, he left he left that he left that yeah. but he skips yeah, he it. Blank. Yeah. That's that's the only Jaco bar. Do you know what should do you know what should replace do you know what should replace with it? We replace with it. That whiskey that Jada yeah. love. No, that whiskey that Jada love. No Jada City, you go whiskey, that's all. Uh, whiskey that, the sweets. That that, that Jada and Wiz love. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shout out to them, shout out to them. Um, guys, I think we're almost done. Yeah, just want to talk hour. about. Uh, yeah, Steve can't. Steve can't wait to go. Dude, yeah. this, dude, this, dude is spiked. Maybe sexual go. peak has declined. Sexual peak. No, no, I'm just. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I'm just signaling that. No, no, I just said one hour, but I just don't know that. I have forgotten that we did an hour first. Oh yeah, and yeah. And this yeah. is an hour, so it's yeah, two yeah. hours. You know, like it's almost three hours. Still in my peak. I'm still in my peak, bro. I'm still okay. in my peak. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Peak man. Peak man. Shout out to you. Oh, Who's what the Vietnam documentary? Ah, obviously. I, 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 I have. I've done it. Uh, of course. Yeah. Not. yeah. Oh, I've not, bro. I've been saving it. Oh, bro. for real? If you watch that documentary, you will hit Manchester United now. <laughs> yeah. That was good. It was great. The documentary. The documentary also intensified my dislike for Asawinga. <laughs> United. Oh, Your greatest coach. For Your greatest coach. That was the era now. That was the era that he was allowing Manchester United to win the league anytime they want. He didn't allow. He like was defeated. Football. He was defeated. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was defeated. In, in fact, he, talking about allow, it was Ferguson that allowed Wenger to win with his three Premier League titles. Yeah, actually, true that. He's 98, uh, he's 98, 90, Arsenal's 98 title. You know what was happening in 98 at Manchester United? The transition. It was transitioning to the kids. Yeah. When the yeah. kids were ready, what happened? 99, 2000, 2001. 
three in a row. Straight. Zaha won. He was tra- he was trying to transition from Beckham. Yeah, and bringing his draw and I was trying to figure it out. Right, two thousand two, they won. Mm-hmm. Two thousand two, they won. Two thousand three was supposed to be also be a transition year, but that's not messed up. And man, you won the league. Yeah, and actually, that was, was mess up. Yes, now two thousand four was the unbe- unbeaten season. We all knew we knew of, that was Ronaldo's first season. They're trying to build it, and Chelsea was also in the frame. Chelsea came two thousand five, two thousand six. What happened in seven, eight, and nine? Fergie Kane. Come on, man. Shut it Forget down it. again. Oh, man. Wenger, me, I don't race Wenger. I don't, I, 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 could talk my own. I, don't, I don't like Esa Wenger. I don't rate him. I don't think he's a great manager. I feel he's a very good football coach, and that's it. Football coach in terms of developing talent. He knows how to spot talent. But tactically, Organon, Organon Sabi. Um, yeah, his Arsenal side were very weak. Even the biggest, even his biggest Arsenal side, even his best Arsenal team, were really very, very weak. Because if you look at what people do with their best teams, what do they do? They win the they Champions, win the Champions League. League. And, and the great managers, you know what they do with their best teams? They win the treble. Mourinho, Fergie, Pear. Double seven, no, no, double two. <laughs> No, no, we don't. We already saw the double 98, yeah, 98. That was 98, 98, no, double. Mm. Then that was it. Champions League, but I don't win. So that documentary made me verse. I'm not gonna lie, you. I'm not gonna lie, you made me verse. What I learned from that documentary was that always document every aspect of your life or your kids' life yeah. from one. Kids' life, your kids' because life. Because it's crazy the amount. Over. It's crazy how the amount of footage they had even before. He the amount of content they have about, about Yo, Beckham from like five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy, man. Always document. Lots of video like, clips, yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah. I okay. think there was. I think there's a. There's a privilege factor to it because you know back in the days recording, you know recording video clips were kind of like expensive. Yeah, well, that's that's like now, you just use smartphones. Everybody's life, sir. Everybody's life now. I'm telling you, in the next ten years, next ten, fifteen years, everybody that will be doing documentary will have my like too much clips because now yeah. it's easy to document. Yeah, like I have like one million clips of my kids. Like is that too, the content choke? <laughs> yeah, it was really like that, you know, because the access to those you know tools are very, very. It's very, very easy now, you know. So yeah. Yeah. But good documentary, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, good book. Yeah, I enjoyed it. All right, cool, cool, cool. And um, we've come to the end of this podcast of this episode. Yep. yep. Righty. Thank you so much for for rocking with us. Um, okay. We're a bit disjointed here and there because we're all yeah, yeah, yeah. working class men with <laughs> a lot of responsibilities not men of the night please oh, working class men not men of the night <laughs> two different things we'll talk about now uh, yeah. so shout out to us and shout out to you guys for listening through and um, we'll definitely catch you guys on the next episode you guys want to plug in anything no we're good nope no plug in no all right mm-hmm. Catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. Out.